Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Quizzle Mania 37. Seven, there it is, 37, back in business, the showcase of the Amorons, the greatest spectacle in all of sports, infotainment, and we finally caught up to WWE. We have done as many Quizzlemanias as they've done WrestleManias, and so now that's it. We're packing it in. Uh, not really, of course, uh, but we we caught up finally. We said we'd do it. I am Adam Smarmaham Blompier, and I'm joined by a delightful quartet questing for the 867th richest prize in the wrestling biz, which is this, the Quizzlemania trophy. In fact, let's just jump into it straight away, and let's meet our guest. You've seen her before as part of the Church of Joshi, one quarter of the Church of Friendos. It's Kayla. Hello, Kayla. Hi. So nice to be here. And nice. I brought you something because I knew that this was going to happen. Okay. Okay. Slightly un He's coming slightly un hot <gasps> with the dog. <laughs> I I really I really realized that the only reason I got asked back was because of beans. Oh, so I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figured I'd just go ahead and get it out of the way. Hello, beans. So bean, uh, bean that bean is now my my personal tagline. <laughs> bean that bean, everybody. Oh, oh gives Tommy scratches. He's already mad at me. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It's camera shy. Uh, so obviously, uh, you, you've you've been part of tag team Quizzlemania. It's your first solo Quizzlemania. What's a what's the strategy? I mean, listen, I'm going on faith from the Church of Friendos um, and my very limited knowledge. You know me. You've already experienced me once. I'm just here to have. I'm just here to have a good time. Well, that's what we're all here to have, Kayla. And I hope you do indeed have a wonderful time. Catch you later on in the show. Next up, making his grand return, much like football, he is coming home. Is <laughs> one of the most prolific voices in British wrestling. It's the one and only Dave Bradshaw. Welcome home, sir. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. How are you, Adam? You okay? <laughs> I'm very good. Football. Day. Yes, look, I've, worn this, I've been wearing this for those who are following the Euros. England won their group yesterday, which means they're into the knockout stages of the uh, the European Championships. And this is my lucky shirt, which I hadn't worn since three years ago in the World Cup when we made the semi-finals. But we mm. needed a win yesterday, so I brought it out of the cupboard, dusted it off. We won, and I have not taken it off since, and I don't plan to until we are eliminated oh oh no that sounds awful i mean i can still shower in it can't i that's a good point that's a good yeah. point uh <laughs> just donald ducking it absolutely <laughs> um so uh you're making your, your grand return to quizomania uh do do remind the audience at home how you fared last time you were on the show oh, don't adam why would you do that why what? Would you, why would my you memory's do that? terrible dave how, how i did last time I've how did you come before and i came in the top four Top four podium finish. Uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was a rough night, um, <laughs> but I have been I have been um, you know I've been studying and I've as I said I've, I've said on Twitter I've been it's pretty much studying every video you've ever made. Um, and then I'm sorry. Uh, also, like uh, I've been you know how do you have the thing on like the network where you kind of go through little obsessions with different like random wrestlers from the nineties or the eighties? I've been having a Beverly Brothers week. Um, <laughs> they, so, I mean, they're great. Yeah, I don't know why. Friends. I've just been watching a lot of like superstars and wrestling challenge, and and I've rediscovered them this week. So if they could be around on them, I would be uh, very great. I okay. Let me just get some quick googling, and I'll I'll yeah. see what I can do. Okay, just give me give me some time. Thanks uh, a lot. Lovely, to, lovely to have you back on the show. <laughs> see see you later. Uh, making another triumphant return. It's a night of returns to Quizzlemania. The one, the only. James Mansfield, welcome back! Ah, hi, Adam Blompier. I'm happy to be here. From one natural blonde to another, it's my pleasure to have you back on the show. Yes, all natural hair except for the color. It's true, it's true. <laughs> I am so happy to be here. Oh, Adam, I actually have some fan mail I have to read out for you. Um, oh, no. It's from my ex-co-host, Sylvia Nix. She wrote, Adam, I love you. And then she sent some explicit, really violent poetry about your love together. And the tea. Oh, I, 
oh, I can't read that. This is a family show. Anyways, you have fans. You have fans. That's wonderful. I mean, we didn't have a hope of monetization in the first place, but it's always nice yeah. to know we've got explicit fans. <laughs> um, so uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, remind me how, how you did when you were last on the show. When I was last on the show, I believe I came in second place. I was close. I believe, I was I very, believe very you close. did. I believe you did. Uh, obviously, there is, there's still, there's, well, I mean, this is the greatest, the greatest prize. Some might I mean, say that things were fixed for, um, what's his name? Luke, Luke Warm, can't keep a job, Luke, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. Yeah, that um, asshole. That whole drum challenge that he has a knowledge <laughs> of history and music on. <laughs> Well, uh, I, I wish you the very, very, very best of luck. Obviously, you're going up against uh, Tempest, someone you've never encountered before. Real, he's a he's a wrestling trivia machine. Do you have any strategies? Right, a new foe has appeared. Yes. Yes, exactly. He's entered the arena. <laughs> Do you have any strategies for for dealing with him? He's 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 very good. You see. Yes, you see, I'm in my currently in my I'm in my happy place right now. You know, my I mean, yeah. big robot boss. You know, gaslit bathroom. So that's going to be my strategy. I'm going to gaslight everybody. Dang. Cool. I mean, so I, I, I mean, obviously, I'm just going to take myself uh, away briefly and just, you are in a bathroom. There you I'm are. Indeed in the bathroom. <laughs> it's absolutely, it's absolutely glorious. Um, <laughs> that is, that is your mind palace. Yes, exactly. I'm like Cher. Whenever she has guests over, they all hang out in her bathroom. Just wow, think of it like that. Uh, in, just in just one of the many ways in which you are like Cher. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the show. Lovely to have you back. And finally, and finally, and finally, the reigning, defending, Quizzle Mania champion. Um, I, I have his asked that I share an image with you uh, that he has sent through to Quizzle Mania HQ before I bring him on. Uh, I haven't looked at it yet. Let me just load it up. <laughs> the one and only Tempest. Hello, Adam. Hi, Tempest. I didn't. I didn't have a robe, so I'm wearing a snuggie instead. <laughs> I hope that's close enough. <laughs> that's the. That's as villainous as a Canadian can get, I suppose. Absolutely. How, how are you, darling? Oh, I'm quite well, my friend. I'm quite well. LAW is going quite, quite well. Why I'm back on top? Why does as soon as anyone wears a crown, why do they have to become fake British? Why? I don't know that it's that fake. I'm afraid. I think it's just <laughs> getting more and more into my lexicon. I said on the last show, I've started saying "in it" because of you Brits. It's just in getting it. worse. It's getting worse. Oh Lord! I wanted to say something before. We kick on. Okay. Haven't I haven't uh, cleared this with anyone? But okay. eh, who who cares? I thought that this would be as good uh, a time as any, considering the show that we're on. I saw some people in the comments saying so, but in case anybody was not aware, hey hey, I'm also bisexual. Oh, Tempest, I, I I I wasn't aware of that, and thank you so much for sharing that with us on the show. Yeah, That's... I know. It seems it seems like an appropriate time and place to to have such a thing, you know. It's never been a a huge deal to me personally, but I've seen people talking about it in the in the chat and on Twitter since this Quizzlemania was was put up, and figured why not? Why not oh, just well... <laughs> kind of say I've always kind of been open with uh, my sexuality when it comes up just never really been i don't know never really been anyone else's business to just be like talking about it constantly yeah, it's, so it's ne yeah i've never i've never <laughs> it's never been part of this beginning chat between yeah, us like Brazil Mania. <laughs> it would be weird if it was yeah. but um well i mean you are supposed to be the heel tempest you've really yeah, thrown a spanner in the works of me treating you like shit you see, yeah i know i'm sorry for throwing you off i was really hoping because you see i can't get this chair out from behind this desk I was planning to actually come out of the closet to start ah. this, but no can do. Oh, well, what next time? C'est la vie. Uh, well, Tempest, that is, thank you so much for, for sharing it with us. Genuinely, that is, uh, that is wonderful. And uh, it, it, Quizzle Mania is as good a platform <laughs> as any, right? <laughs> uh, so you are, the, you are the champion. 
Obviously, that is the that's that's the that's the important news here, Tempest. Is that you Winter. are the new quiz on Mania champion? <laughs> um, you and Pete are currently holding all the gold as the as the faction trope goes. Um, Lots in Gobernables, Los Intangibles de Wrestle Talk uh, yes, are so. currently yeah they hold everything in their in their pretty clutches. What's a what's the strategy for for keeping hold of? Obviously, Pete's got the championship. You've got the Quizzle Mania trophy. We're like. What next? The world? Why why stop there? You can just go bigger. I I have faith. I'm taking this one step at a time, you see. And I know that when it comes to some of these quizzes, some might be a little bit trivia based, others might not. I'm going to venture to guess that this is not going to be a trivia based quiz. <laughs> Tempest, you wound me. How dare I know. you. Mm. But that being said, I do still have faith in myself to pull out the win here at Quizzlemania 37. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you get tired of me being champion, you just got to send someone to take it from me. Sorry to say. Well, I've 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 got three, and we'll uh, we'll see how they do. Uh, good luck <laughs> defending your trophy uh, and your crown, indeed. Um, this is and very hot. <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna, I was gonna say. All right, we'll see you soon, Tempest. Uh, oh well, well, that was. That was genuinely quite wonderful. Uh, anyway, um, so we are going to be playing uh, Quizlemania very shortly. But as you know, or rather should know, uh, this week is a, is a special Quizlemania. It's um, to celebrate Pride Month. Uh, we are doing a charity stream in aid of Stonewall. Uh, just to want to tell you a little bit about the cause first before we hop into the show. And yes, at the top of the description is a donation link. That will take you to uh, a place where you can donate and YouTube won't trim off 30 percent um we'll be reading out uh, donations of ten dollars or more just to kind of give you a bit more of a failed financial motivation there um but yeah any any donations are will be uh, very you know warmly received it's a wonderful cause stonewall stand for lesbian gay bi trans queer questing and ace uh, people everywhere they imagine a world where all lgbtq plus people are free to be themselves and live their lives to the full stonewall's work uh, focuses on working with organizations to bring equality to gay lesbian bisexual and transgender people at home at school and at work uh stonewall's diverse uh, diversity champions program uh, for example for major employers uh between them employing over four million people uh, in 2005, Stonewall launched an education for all program supported by a coalition of over 70 organizations to tackle homophobia in schools. They're uh, an outstanding organization who do great work. So uh, please do give generously. Uh, we'd really, really uh, appreciate it. And yeah, I'll be, I'll be plugging that more throughout the show. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who has already donated. Uh, you guys are the best. We've got a good few pages of Ultra Chats, which is wonderful. Uh, but yes, let's crack on with the show. That is why we are here. So let us welcome back our guests, Kayla, Dave, James, Tempest. Welcome, welcome, one and all, uh, my wonderful, uh, my wonderful players. Let's start, as we always do, with the price is shite. Oh, all right. Boy. So... I'm going to show you an item of wrestling merch that I have found on the internet. Uh, you have to tell me how much you think that item of wrestling merch is worth in dollars, please. US dollars. Um, and the closest without going over will get five, not one, not ten, five points. Uh, so I will show you the item you write down on your little piece of paper, how much you think it's worth. And then we will compare scores whilst I read out some ultra chats in the meantime. Do I have any questions before we start this round? Marvelous. Then let me yeah. show you the first thing that we are going to be bidding for today. It is a frankly horrifying Nikki Bella hat <laughs> with combination oh ponytail. Wow. What, what is happening to her nose? I don't know. <laughs> look at the, like, when you look at it in profile, she's just, she's been bent. Oh, it's my like goodness. It's like you random on The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I mean, obviously, James, you, you know your way around a, a wig, and not to not to out you in front of everyone, but what's the, is, what's the quality of this wig? Uh, how would you, how would you save this? Um... Uh, is fire an option? <laughs> it's always cleanse it with fire. Uh, so it you, 
please let me know how much you think this is worth uh, in dollars on ebay.com. Uh, I'm just going to read a couple of Ultra Chats, and then we will look at your guesses. Charles Berg says uh, messages in saying, uh, my cousin is gay. When he came out to us, his mom said, Paul, we've always known you used to watch Wizard of Oz three times a day. We love you. When your child comes out, don't be a Karen, be an Aunt Caroline. Virgil Nomodo has donated $50 saying, I was hoping Quizomania would do something like this for Pride. I've never been prouder to be part of a fan base. Thank you, Team Wrestling and friends. As always, hashtag jam that jam, hashtag support each other and greg cherry says happy today and happy pride month all question what is your least favorite gimmick match i'm picking tempest to win as he's almost as good as, as good at wrestling trivia as i am yes that's a challenge all right <laughs> so what is everyone's least favorite wrestling gimmick match oh i know i know instantly i think steel cage matches are stupid do you th is it just yeah. WWE steel cage matches that's well, done that though with the door and that stupid? Yeah, stupid well, any door. yeah, especially with the door, but anything where you have to like escape to win, mm. like the Hell in a Cell is cool because you're locked in, and the idea is that it's a feud that you know is so vicious that you can't you, you can't contain it unless it's literally contained inside a fence. But but a cage match is who can run away fastest? It's stupid. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I really don't like last man standing matches. They're so boring. Mm -hmm. Just it's the really slow long. counting. Yeah, just like one, yeah, two. And they keep doing it because they've got to do it a minimum of like 10 times per match to make it feel like a last man standing match. Kayla, Anything you have that goes past the last man like standing match. Mm -hmm. Which was, sorry? Oh my God. I said, you want to know real pain? Play a last man standing match on like WWF Attitude for the Nintendo 64. Oh my God. <laughs> Was that the one where everyone was just weirdly really thin? Mm. I just remember that there was one where like Steve Austin was just like, running around looking yeah. weirdly flat. All right, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see um, what everyone has bid. Let's start with let's start with the champ. Let's pay uh, pay fealty to our king, uh, Tempest. Yes, sir. I'm going just because there's a wig attachment. There's probably some work that's gone into that. I've gone for twenty two ninety nine. Twenty two ninety nine. Dave Bradshaw. Can I just say, by the way, before we go on, I should have said a minute ago, but Tempest, that's awesome what you said at the start. I think that's absolutely amazing. Congratulations. And yeah, I had a, a similar situation a few months ago, and I know it's very difficult to do. So well done, man. I really, really think that's cool. Congrats, um, Tempest. Now, in terms Thanks, of the yeah. question, uh, I thought you can see exactly my workings here. So I thought 15, <laughs> then I was like, no, that's enough. And 20, oh. I thought 25, and then I thought, ah, 20, like I added a 99 at the last second. So 25, 99. <laughs> no, no, it's worth more than, no, no, it's worth, yeah. no, it's worth more than this. <laughs> and Kayla. So I went a little high just because Bella stands will shell out money and I'm assuming that that hat's not made anymore. So I actually <laughs> went high at like 40, I mean, you can't read it, $45. I have $45 written. I don't know why you can't I, read I that. Be I believe you that, that says 45. It says 45. Oh. Hold on, let me write it again. <laughs> Is that a torch? 45. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we, yeah, yeah, we, we got you. Uh, and finally, James Mansfield, how much Let's for the see. Bella well, I was going based off my knowledge of like those, these had like a frozen one with Anna and Elsa with the ponytail hats for little girls. And that was only eight dollars, but since this is Nikki Bella, it's really primo. So I said fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen ninety nine can confirm that one of you has walked away with it because it's worth twenty three dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah. How? Well, it's real it's Bella hair. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it was real that. Bella hair. It would be a lot more than this. Oh, it would be a Someone lot creepier than that. that. Yeah. Mm. Wait, so you know, I was started here extensions. <laughs> Who um, won? Oh, that would be Tempest, I'm afraid. Oh, you went you can't go over. Yeah, close without oh, going no. over. Otherwise, Bob Barker will come and kill my pets. Damn it. I, think that's I was going memorabilia <laughs> yeah. prices. It, it, I mean, I'm assuming it's not made anymore. One can only hope. Um, I hope that, that it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, hope it's more of one. Bro. What if they do like they might do a Bianca Belair one now? They that do, really yeah. Uh, I mean that that at least 
Oh no, it's still it's still weird. All right, so that is five points to Tempest. Congratulations, Tempest, on the board already, sir. That is why you're the king. All right, next up, this really made me laugh. Who wants to sit on Hulk Hogan's lap? It's a table and oh, chair set no, from no. JC Penny. Oh, no. um, you get not only uh, Hulk Hogan, you also get the uh, the Ultimate Warrior as well, who both appear to be WWE champion at the same time. <laughs> because Hulk Hogan doesn't share. Uh, so yes, who who wants to sit on on on, on Hulk's lap with the old warrior? Uh, Christian Baltimore says roses are red. Mario rides Yoshi. Go Kayla, win it for the Church of Joshi. Not quite the full what you were going for, but I mean, it's, it's not Yoshi, is it? Is it Yoshi it's or is it Yoshi? Yeah, it's, it's a Yoshi. Is it really Yoshi? Yeah. He says Yoshi. Yoshi. Yes. Come on. Come on now, he doesn't say Yoshi. His name is Yoshi. His name's Yoshi. Oh, never mind, uh, never mind. It's Yoshi. This is a, I think this is a UK US thing. We say Yoshi, they say Yoshi. Yeah, it's definitely Yoshi. Or like it's North Yoshi. America, sorry, Tempest, it's not US. But. Uh, James and Kayla, you've got to weigh in on this. This is a hot debate. I mean, I'm going to go Yoshi. <laughs> That's Yoshi. Yoshi. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I was miles away. What was the question? <laughs> How do you pronounce Is it pronounced? <laughs> Is it pronounced Yoshi or Yoshi? The Mario oh. little dinosaur. Well, as an American, and we're always right, as you know, um, it's Yoshi. All right. Well, Yoshi it is then. Anyway, look at these horrible table and chairs again. Uh, Emma Bond says, message. I wanted to hear uh, everyone say trans rights. Also, Tempest, I'm going to try substituting <clears throat> the peanut butter for Nutella. I'll tell you how it goes. Nutella and pickles? No. Uh, no. You look what you've started, Tempest. No, no, no. I will say right now, I am not responsible for any alterations that people make to this sandwich formula. It is peanut butter and pickles. That's it. If you, it, I saw someone talking about Look at about James's adding, face. Look at James's face. What is this weird craving? <laughs> Everyone says that. Every single time people you say might that. Be no, pregnant. it's fantastic. You never know. It's I think it's you fantastic. need to find out if you're pregnant yeah. or not. Yeah, I'll go pee on a stick. Give me a sec. <laughs> Adam, are we going, let's clarify, are we going memorabilia prices or original retail? This one I couldn't find on eBay. Okay. Uh, believe it or not. So we are going original retail. Oh, oh bastard. I put eBay price. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I mean, I don't know where, what part of your mind palace you would pull the figure <laughs> for the <laughs> Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan. There you go. You can have, it's JC Penny. I mean, you can tell from his the little fashion in the top right corner that we're looking at probably, yeah, early 90s. That would make sense considering Ultimate Warrior's got the belt on him. Um, and Sakura Clown says, I have full confidence in Tempest. His life points have only hit zero once, and that was only due to the trap card known as Randy Datsun. Come on, Tempest, keep the streak alive and beat SRS's record. Hashtag L-I-W. All right. Plan. So uh, let's go reverse order this time. James, let's start with you. How much for the terrifying garden set? Well, I've been doing a lot of watching of major wrestling figure podcasts. I'll never get that time back. But <laughs> I heard I researched old wrestling memorabilia prices, and I had to cross out and put thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four ninety nine. All right, Kayla. I went in even thirty. Hopefully, you could see it this time. I think if I, I can. Turn it this that is way. that is nice and thick. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Dave Bradshaw. Uh, I just know you, you mentioned Andy Datsun, by the way. He's been messaging me all day, putting me under immense pressure to win this. Cause, you know, we, we learned last time that we're from the same hometown. Oh, yes, of course. So he's told me that I can never return to Woking if I don't uh, succeed tonight. So hello, Andy. Uh, I changed it by $6 after you said it's the original price, taking into account inflation since the early 90s. I've gone $44. $44 dues. And finally, Tempest. I mean, upon learning that this is original price and not whatever's on eBay now, I took it down from one twenty nine ninety nine to thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> oh my! One hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> People like weird stuff. If this is today, someone would buy it. I Collectors, bought this for man. you, my son. Uh, right. Well, um, it's uh, this is quite a feat. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta marvel at it when you see it. It's exactly thirty four ninety nine. Wow. James, James, James Mansfield knows their incredibly 
kitchen strange Hulk Hogan furniture. <laughs> and that is five points to you. Congratulations. All right. Next up, something perhaps a little more valuable. No spoilers. But it is a signed and framed one more round Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, waistcoat. They did a limited edition run of these, obviously to commemorate his last match at WrestleMania 19 when he came out with OMR on his vest one more round. This is, this is signed by the man himself and framed in this lovely little frame. Question. Be here. Uh, yes, James. Is it ring worn? This is not the jacket. Okay. This is not the jacket, but it is uh, limited edition. It is rare and it is signed and obviously kept very nicely. And this is eBay price. eBay price for the one more round. Stone Cold Steve Austin vest. Uh, Jacques Rougeau says, thanks for helping out with the great cause of LGBTQ equality. You all are a great bunch of people. And also I'm writing this to say peanut butter and pickles are gross. Jam that jam. Love is love. Spoken like someone who hasn't tried it. And AJ says, this will be my second full year out of the closet. I'm a proud bisexual man who's very happy to hear that Tony Storm has come out as bi too. Yes, I saw that. Congratulations to Tony. That's wonderful. Uh, love you guys. Hashtag bi rights, hashtag gay rights, hashtag trans rights. Pride that pride. Pride that pride indeed. So lovely to see uh, so many of our wonderful fans donating to this cause and sharing, like uh, like Tempest has earlier in the show, their experiences uh, and who they are, which is wonderful. Uh, right, this lovely, lovely vest. And we're going to start with, I think, uh, the best dressed person here. So Dave, um, we're going to start with you. Um, how much for the vest? Uh, WrestleMania 19, by the way, best WrestleMania ever. Don't at me. Oh, what a hot uh, take. 375. I think it's expensive. $375 redos. Kayla, how about you? I highballed again just because memorabilia is crazy. I went $800. Ooh. $800. Oh, Even the WWE shop is normally expensive. So. <clears throat> Figured I'd go shoot for the stars. Shoot for the moon and James. Yes. Well, I was doing a little like soul searching here and trying to like get inside the mind of this vest. I think <laughs> it was originally listed high, but then they went lower after they saw it was selling. So I said $334.99 plus shipping or local pickup. <laughs> oh, local pickup to, to the ranch, to Broken Skull Ranch. All right. So currently Kayla is our highest bidder. Tempest, how about you? Everyone's like, oh, I went high. I went real high. I went $24.99. It's Steve Austin. Two and a half grand. Yes, sir. Well, 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 sometimes it pays to shoot for the stars. $2,776. Oh, $2, and the crucial 44 cents. <laughs> Steve wow. Austin. Steve yeah. Austin, guys. If that was ring worn, I, that would have been like. That's what. I, yeah. That's why I didn't that go museum. that right. high, is because he didn't wear it. Come he on, did he sign it. Then you get a signature. Yeah. <laughs> anyone, anyone can fake that. All you need is a frame. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up on the docket, how much for Daryl? Hey, how I much? Love my lovely kitty. How much for Daryl? Um, this is from uh, New Japan, I believe, their official shop. And it's uh, the price is still in dollars though, so how much for Daryl? Mm. Love mm. that cat. Is Daryl? Daryl's not dead, right? I know Daryl at one point died but came back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, a different Daryl came back. A red Daryl came back at some point. Um, I don't know what the state of Daryl is right now, just because uh, Hiromu is still out injured. Mm. So perhaps when he comes back, we'll get a better idea. That's a true shame. But yes, I believe that. I, I'm not sure if it's like if there's a female Daryl. I think that I think there's there's a cat called oh I'm gonna butcher pronunciation but Nauru or Nauru I apologize if that is completely mm. incorrect uh, but yes how much for Daryl um, the original Daryl Duncan Ooh. says uh, have some money for a good cause fluff my cat wishes you all the best of luck at least I think so he's staring a hole through the screen thank you fluff 
I, I wish I had a pointer. Um, Laugh Track says, yay, James is back. There's going to be a fabulous Quizlemania. Only just saw the $10 only thing, so I'm donating again. Question for all, what's one thing you haven't done yet but have to before you die? Mine is a four-figure donation to an ASD charity. What is one thing on your bucket list, folks? Ooh, I'll tell you what it isn't. It isn't peanut butter and pickles. Right? Um, right. So should be. Um, <laughs> other than that, I mean, hmm. go to Japan. I, like genuinely, I'm I'm doing that next year, and I can't I think wait. We're going in like 2023, so nice. cross it off. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna go to Tokyo, and I can't wait. Oh my god! Anyone else? Can we convince Adam to use Plumpy again as a nickname? I don't like <laughs> Good luck. Again, he should have never stopped. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Tempest, how about you? I was just going to say traveling, which honestly I'm looking to do pretty much as soon as uh, as things open up and are safe to do so. Come on over here. I'll buy you a pint. How about that? And I'll make you a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. That seems like a fair fucking exchange, doesn't it? Jesus. All right. We, uh, can, how we can exchange it over a game of crocodile. Apparently, I was pronouncing crocodile crazy wrong around as apparently as well crocon crocanol or crocanol or crocan cro i don't know I, I think you're doing it fine thanks tempest crocanol sounds about right um how much I, you might you might want to come to me last i think i actually know the answer but because i have checked this before to possibly buy it and haven't so if it hasn't changed wow. i think it's 50 bucks i think it's 50 bucks 50 bucks dave uh we've met daryl adam do you remember <laughs> Oh, of course, at the Japan um, yeah. World Cup qualifiers. Yeah, lovely, lovely cat in real life. Um, <laughs> a great cat. Uh, I'm quite confident that I've, I'm have i in the right ballpark then, based on what Tempest said. I've gone uh, 48. $48. Kayla? I did $39.99. $39.99. And James Mansfield? I lowballed. I said $36.99 plus that brutal $15 international shipping. <sighs> All right, so we have someone bang on the banana one more time. Fifty dollars, very, wow. very good. Tempest, a small price to pay for an excellent cat. There's another five points to Tempest. Ooh, isn't he doing well? Uh, all right, final item. Um, arguably the greatest shirt that WWE have ever discontinued. It is the I Am Sami Zayn <laughs> shirt, <laughs> which wow. they literally made as a one-off rib, I think. Um, like someone made fun of him by drawing something like that on a shirt. And then WWE decided to whack it in their shop. But it's the I Am Sami Zayn shirt, which is no longer for sale on, I believe, WWEshop.com. But you can get it on eBay. But for how much? Uh, Van Twinblade says, uh, I've been out and proud for almost 15 years by slash NB, uh, but USPS keeps losing my seasonal copy of the gay agenda. What time is brunch on Sunday? Happy <laughs> Pride, everyone. Uh, Cyclone says, I had to shoot some money towards a charity like this. As a member of the LGBTQ plus family, I always show support to those who find it hard to come out with their true selves. You're all beautiful people. And the BT says, shout out to James Stephanie Sterling, who had to deal with transphobia by commentators at the weekend. Would love to see them on Quizlemania mostly for the price is shite seventh continent great sp game oh james stephanie sterling's fantastic big fan of them um all right uh how much for the i am sammy Zayn shirt james i said 25.99 25.99 david um i i went with you know i got kind of carried away with you saying it's now rare because it got discontinued so i've said 73 73 dollars kayla first off brunch is at 12 since you didn't get your gay agenda <laughs> um and i went 39.99 39.99 and finally tempest i went for an even 20 bucks even 20 the correct item is thirty-two ninety-nine. Okay. Who said that? I forget who everyone's prices was. It's closest. Mine I was actually thirty-nine. Twenty-five. Uh, how much is your tempest? Uh, Twenty. Twenty-five. 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 Twenty-five.
Yes, it is James. James has done it. Yay. <laughs> Very good. All right. So I win by not winning. You won by default. The two sweetest words in the English language. Uh, so the scores on the doors after that round with 10 points. James Mansfield's in second place. In first place with 15 points is Tempest. And Kayla and Dave are also just happy to be here. <laughs> They're, You'll you'll join us in the pool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. So moving on to the next round, which is a round that we haven't seen in quite some time. Uh, this is let me see. It's Emogenius. Oh. It is Emogenius. So I have created some wrestlers out of emojis, or rather, I have put some emojis together to represent wrestlers. Uh, it's cryptic clues, maybe. So the way this is going to work is I've got 10 of these and we're going to do something a little different. Normally I show it to you and I go to Ultra Chats and then you write down and we go and see everyone. I think we're going to do a finger on the buzzer round Ooh. for this Ooh. one. So oh. your buzzer is you saying your own name. Can you test your buzzers in three, two, one? They're very good buzzer, Kayla. <laughs> you just held it down <laughs> for a nice amount of time. So uh, I'm going to show you an emoji or a series of emojis. You buzz in with your name, and if you get it right, that's three points. So possible 30 to walk away with. But if you get it wrong, of course, you will not be able to guess again for that question. That all makes sense? Yeah. yeah. Fan. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. So fingers on your buzzers then. Who <laughs> is this? Uh, Tempest. Kayla. Tempest. I heard you first. I'll go topical and say Nikki Cross. Incorrect. Ooh. Uh, you may now buzz back in people. Kayla. Please. Kayla. Molly Holly. It Mighty is Molly. indeed Molly Holly. Mighty <laughs> Molly Holly. I thought I'd sucker you in there, Tempest. Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be one of those two, but I thought uh, topical. So it is mighty Molly Holly. All right. Fingers back on buzzers. If I say that someone is incorrect, do feel free to jump straight in there with another buzz. You don't have to wait for me to open it up. Who is this? Dave Taylor. I heard Dave first. I think that must be Seamus. Incorrect. Oh. Tempest. I heard Tempest. Yeah, you're a funny man. Ken Shamrock. That is Ken Shamrock. Oh. <laughs> Very good. I was hoping I'd get a Finley out of someone, but no, <laughs> that'll do me. All right. Fingers on buzzers. Next emoji. Who is this? James. James. The gobbledygooker? It's the gobbledygooker. Very, very good indeed. <laughs> Huge fan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. This round's dumb. All right. Number four. Who is this? Dave. Uh, Dave. It's Kane. It's Kane. Of course it's Kane. Oh, it's okay. got to be Kane. Right. It's got to be Kane. It's gotta he be looked like Kane. a superhero, so you threw me off again. Yeah. He looked like a very yeah. metal superhero. He's gotta, that's kind of what his mask used to look like <laughs> right at the end. It was the really bad one that he had. Um, all right. Next up. Whomst is this? Uh, uh, wait a minute! You said this is these are all wrestlers. These are all wrestlers. Oh. James. James. Is it? Um, crap! I thought I had something. I'm just gonna throw something to the wind. Uh, meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, unpack that for me, James. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did you show show your working, please? <laughs> oh, uh, Tempest, Tempest, Cherry Red, Sunny Kiss. Kiss. It's Sunny Kiss, very, very good. Right. It's yeah. not meat. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was meat again? Was that Sean Stasiak? Sean yeah. Stasiak, yeah. when he was part yeah. of Pretty Mean Sisters, he was their yeah. kind of walking sex man that they yeah. brought to the ring on like a leash. Fun times, good old 90s. Yeah, kisses uh, all over him. I thought it was Cherry Runnels. Oh, I see, I see. Next time, it was put not... a sunshine instead of a baby. Yeah, I, I was going <laughs> baby <laughs> something. So, come on, Adam. I, look, there's I'm a not... sun emoji. 
that's the closest I get to sun. All right, you leave me alone. You do the hard work. All right, so Play next Ritz, up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Dave. Caleb. Dave. It's the Rock. Yes, Dwayne the Rock, John. Why did my brain stop working for like a second? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Laugh, next up, who's this? Tempest. Tempest. Kayla. It's Stone Cold. That's uh, Stone Cold. <laughs> 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 oh, we do have fun. All right. Number eight. We've got three more left. Who is this? Dave. Dave? Is it doink? Kayla. It is not Doink. Dang. Kayla. Uh, Fiend and Alexa Bliss. I will go with Alexa Bliss. I okay. will give you Alexa Bliss, but it is it is Alexa. But you already said her name, so I couldn't okay. really. But yes, it is Alexa Bliss. <laughs> I don't. I really hated putting this one together. Um, next up, <laughs> who is this one? Good love. Mm. James. James. Zodiac. It is the Zodiac. Very good. Oh, seems so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Yes. No. It's, of course, Brutus the Barber Beefcakes, <laughs> Alter, <laughs> Alter Ego, and WCW. The Zodiac. Wonderful stuff. And finally, I've tried to go as hard as I can for this one. So this may be a little cryptic, or you may get it immediately. I don't know. Who is this? Um... Buzzing Tempest. When ready. Tempest. Football's coming home. It is not football <laughs> is coming home, that famous uh, wrestler. Dave. Dave? Well, I'm wondering if the roller coaster is meant to be like Orlando and then it's basketball. So is it Shaq? <laughs> no, no, you're wrong there, Dave. Uh, but oh, oh, I thought you had it there, pal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I've got it. Yeah, you've got it, Tempest. James? Yeah. Oh, can I guess? Yeah, you can guess. Orlando Jordan? It's Orlando Jordan. Oh. Dave, uh, you talked yourself out of this. <laughs> like, oh, well, I think that's Orlando, and that's basketball. So, Shaq? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see how I came last last time? That was amazing. Yeah. I can't believe you undid yourself so beautifully. <laughs> All right. So after that round, here are the current scores as they stand. In equal third place with six points apiece, it's Kayla and Dave. Next up in second place with 19, it's James Mansfield. And in first place with 24, not much in it, folks. It's Tempest. All right, um, we are going to uh, have a brief break while I check our just giving totals and see how we're doing. We are, oh wow, that is amazing. Uh, so um, I set a quite a high, I thought, goal of 5,000 pounds, considering that no one's shaving their head for this one. We are 30% of the way there, folks. We have raised 1,514 pounds for Stonewall so far. You guys, are amazing we love you very very much um that is that is genuinely very very wonderful indeed uh right uh so the next round is an old favorite kayla you've been looking forward to this one i believe it's name that jam no. yeah <laughs> so gotten better <laughs> The Photoshop is <laughs> that, that was actually not done by me. That was done by a fan who sent it in. I'm a huge, huge fan. Uh, so uh, in this, uh, I will be uh, sending you guys uh, a Twitter DM with a name of a wrestler and a phrase. And the phrase is in quotation marks. So you know it's the phrase. Uh, what I want you then to do is to basically sing the wrestler's theme any wrestling any any one of their themes so if they've had like five like chris jericho you can sing any one of them as long as someone guesses it but you instead of lyrics to their theme you have to sing the phrase for example if i sent you uh hulk hogan and uh peanut butter and pickles you would have to go peanut butter and pickles peanut okay. butter and then like the last round, you buzz in with your name if you want to guess who that wrestler is. If you guess it correctly um, from someone performing it, you will get three points and they will get three points. However, if everyone guesses it incorrectly, 
I will then take over and perform it properly, uh, <laughs> at which point you all get a chance to guess again, but only you will get three points for this, not the person who was assigned the thing. I've, I've basically <laughs> I've been watching this round every time I've wanted to take part. So sod it. If you have a one where you can't get it, I'm going to step in. I can't wait to immediately <laughs> defer to you. <laughs> no, no, you have to try. Okay. You have to try. Fine. All right, so we're going to go in order of uh, last place to first. There are two people currently in last place, so I'm going to roll a six-sided dice. Uh, Kayla, would you like to be odds or evens? Um, even, please. Even, please. That is a three. So, Dave, you will be going first. All right, so, Dave, do check your Twitter DMs as I will send you right. your wrestler and the phrase. There we go. <laughs> Is it the Beverly Brothers? <laughs> no, but I have given you one of the harder ones. But you've got oh, this. You know a lot about wrestling. There you go. Received? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. I've done this round a lot, you see. So I've had to... Yeah. I, don't, I can't remember the... Oh, uh, wait. So wait. So I say the first bit... So the bit in quotation marks, that's the phrase yeah. you have to use to sing the theme song. Yeah. And then you have to get people to guess the theme song. If you would like one minute to listen to the theme song, I will head over to some ultra chats. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah, wait. I, so I'll leave the room. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, don't, don't I don't... have to listen to it somewhere? Well, yeah, you got headphones, bud. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> then yes, wow. leave leave the room and go listen <laughs> to your... Right now. I one. <laughs> well, good. Now that he's gone. No, no, no. I'm going to... Uh, just head on. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to head on over. Waitrose bag, though. Fancy. Uh, I'm going to head over to the Ultra Chats. Johnny28 says, a shame we couldn't get a farewell to Louis Quizzlemania tonight. I know he isn't on the show, but I want to thank him for his work and wish him the best with the future he'll be a huge uh, miss to the team absolutely we uh we like to make fun of louis dangle uh, around these parts because it well you know that we 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 make fun of everybody but he will be missed dearly he is a good boy and a fine nugget all right uh, reverend dave says i'm predicting kayla to sneak out a win with the same way montreal snuck goal after goal past jack campbell lol at tempest for thinking the leafs stood a chance again after tavares got decapitated what yeah pretty much yeah the our team is cursed i will openly admit that in the first game, the first period of the first game of our series, our captain got knocked over by one guy and kneed in the head like Randy Orton punted by another guy. It was an accident, but he had to be stretched off the ice. He's since, like, he's fine. He was able to make, like, a full recovery fairly quickly, but just that is the Leafs' luck, it seems. But did he lose his head? No, thankfully oh. not. Never mind. <laughs> when, when, when you heard he made a full recovery, you'd be like, my God, my God. <laughs> Surely this is bigger news. Uh, Dave, are you are you ready? I'm ready? I'm at my parents' house in the suburbs today, and they're just like, what are you doing? I just left the room and started <laughs> listening to a 90s WWF theme and then Spoilers. came back. Yep. So, cool. yeah. All right. Everyone knows that, didn't they? That's not a spoiler. Anyway, okay, I'm ready. All right, you are ready. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. All right, ready? Yo, take me out to the ball game. Uh, <laughs> and then it went, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the ball game. Take me. And then I got really kind of self-conscious like, about listening to the songs. So I came back. So that's, that's about it. I can do it again. Yeah, do it from the top. Yo, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the ball game. Tempest? Take me Tempest. out. Is it like uh, too cool? Maybe it's not too cool, James. Is it? Um, oh, that the X Factor. It's X Factor. Very uh, good. I got yes. everything I ever wanted. Ah, oh, well done. <laughs> I'm so oh, well done for getting it from that, and well done to you, Dave. I, I especially like to get yo, you're dealing with the X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the hit was that gave it away. <laughs> nice, nice. Yo, take me out. To I, the only, I have no memory of that theme tune. 
It's one of the best WWE theme tunes ever. I mean, I it's them. not. But I remember they only had the intro, the intro part for like a really short time too. So that's a real deep cut. Yeah, I know. Uh, it degrades it's into just like. Uh, I, I've not heard a lot of Uncle Cracker, but I assume that's what all of their stuff is like. Uh, right, who is next? It's Kayla. <laughs> Uncle Cracker, <laughs> isn't it? That's the, that's the name of the people who does X Facts uh, oh. theme tune. Uncle Cracker. It cool. was Sue Metal. Kid Rock, Uncle Cracker. <laughs> I don't know who Uncle Cracker <laughs> is. Just one person. One person, right? I love what biscuit. A, a single Uncle Cracker. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, Uncle Cracker is the name of the person who did X Facts theme tune. Kayla. Check your DMs. Your assignment is coming through now. As ever, if you do need to leave the room to listen to. Yeah, I do not know this one. Come on, you know this one. I Kate. don't. Oh, I, oh, I'm going to have to listen to it. That's fine. You've got um, standard audio equipment there. Very, very good. You don't have to leave. Uh, I'm going to head yeah, over to the Ultra one. Chats. I'm so stoked you got that, Dave. Also, 90s? Come on, man. Uh, it, it was in 2001. 2001. That's the 90s, basically. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. Uh, Mel Angel666 says, Church of Friendos for the win. Uh, open brackets. Sorry, Tempest. Close brackets. And now, in honor of Pride Month, and possibly more than ever, save trans lives. A sentiment we can all get behind. Thank you so much, uh, Mel Angel. Uh, and we uh, have a message through from Adam Blamplate. Uh, I am going to uh, basically for, uh, forewarn this, that this is a uh, it's potentially quite upsetting um, ultra chat, but we wanted to read it. Uh, Adam Blamplate has message saying, really need this to get uh, tonight as my friend died of a heart attack earlier today. So really need these few hours of escapism. Uh, Adam, I, I, I don't know if that is your real name, of course. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I, I'm really, really sorry uh, to hear that. That I'm, I'm glad that we can at least be here for you while you're processing and going through something truly awful. Uh, all our thoughts and sympathies are with you. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, and finally, Daltanian has messaged us two hundred dollars, which is so generous. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated here. Like you guys are. Uh, genuinely like it humbles me every time we do a charity stream to see the generosity of our Quizomania fans. But as message two hundred dollars to say for love, for life, happy pride, everyone. Mike Wright says had to donate to such a good cause. Being a DJ has caused me to meet so many wonderful people in the LBG, uh, LGBTQ uh, plus community that I consider my best friends. Love is love, and never be afraid to ask. Uh, never be afraid to be yourself. Lovely, Kayla. Your face is full of. It's telling. What a story your face is telling. I'm trying are, to are memorize this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, also trying to, face. I'm also trying to figure out how to... You gave me one with... Okay, no, not, I can't say that because it's uh, spoilers. Um, right. Well, it's not really spoilers, but you definitely didn't make it easy on me, but hold on. I'm not making it easy on anyone. Okay, this is Quizzle Mania. This is, this, is the, this, is the, this is the show. All I right. I think I'm going to slightly have it. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Here we go. Okay. Toilet duck. <laughs> Toilet duck. Toilet duck. <laughs> Toilet duck. You know what? That's, That's fucking brilliant, Kayla. If they can't get it from that, they're not going to get it. I feel like I did a better job <laughs> than I You did a I really was. good job. That's really good. Do you have anything oh, to hey, add? Hey, 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 hey. Dave? Uh, is it William Regal? It's William Regal! Yeah. <laughs> Evil Regal! Evil Regal, the one of the best themes. Yes. Evil Regal. I did get to watch his Titan for a couple of minutes and what a man. I was so slightly hoping you were going to go, Toilet Duck! <laughs> toilet Duck! Uh, but no, that was, the, that was a good thing to do. All right, so <laughs> next up, James, this is yes. for you. And I will. Yes, I will preface that none of these are easy. Uh, so this one is coming through now. <laughs> the, the, the tilt of the head. <laughs> <laughs> the flaring of the nostrils. Is the this look a theme song that everyone knows, or is this a, a, a deep cut? Uh, I, th I think people know this one. I is think. it the one that's in every wrestling game that he's featured in? Uh, he, he... I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There I'm you go. Quick, just to make sure I'm not wrong. 
definitely. Uh, Shiva Wilding says, hey, Adam, since you know James and clearly love Drag Race, when are we getting that special all drag episode of Blood on the Clock Tower? Sully in a wig <laughs> needs to happen. Hashtag pride, hashtag fuck the haters. I do love Drag Race very, very much. Although Drag Race Down Under sure did push me to my limits. Goodness hey. me. Look, mm, I, no disrespect to any of the queens on that show, but that show was a mess. <laughs> I love that you're still talking about this because you talked about this the last time I was on and that was weeks ago. Oh, it, it, it just finished, Kayla. Like literally <laughs> the last one was Sunday. And I will keep going. It, it, it just felt like they did a lot of the Queens a disservice. Like the editing was all over the shop. The sound quality was all over the shop. Like, I mean, I, I you know, some of them were really, really great Queens, but also there were some weird judges choices that, yeah, let's just say. Anyway, a week a week series, but I, I'm very drag much race is to known stars. for their editing, right? <laughs> oh yeah, James James shade rattle. You can see James's bathroom in more detail now. Look, it's <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. It does look like a like an eldritch shrine to some. I can see Trixie guy. and Katya there in the corner, aka that's me and Alex. Of course. <laughs> I mean, uh, which are you of the of the two? Oh, I'm Katya. Of course, you're Katya. Of course, Definitely I just wanted Katya. you to say it, just in case. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that 100%. you were on the same. Uh, I'm a mountain and... biking vampire witch from the future. <laughs> oh, okay, Adam, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. What kind of thing did you send me? I can't find that anywhere. <laughs> what do you mean you can't find it? It's not on YouTube. Yes, it is. You're a liar. Just, you're a liar. You're a liar. I'll One thing you should you know about Adam Blanca is that he's a liar. Chat. That's not. That's not true. That, hey, hey. <laughs> if you if you search for the name of this wrestler and theme, you will find it on YouTube. I promise. <laughs> All I'm finding is a bunch of neck beards doing stuff. What? What did I send you? Hang on. No, no, that's oh no, don't Google that bit. <laughs> did you Google the bit in that? Yeah. Google... <gasps> no, that's the, that's the phrase I sent you. <laughs> that's arm wrestling oh. with Chaz and Dave. That's not the that's not the wrestler. That's the phrase you have to say. Oh, that's what I was asking you. <laughs> You've been sitting here for hours. <laughs> arm wrestling with Chaz and Dave is a line from Alan Partridge. <laughs> oh, sorry, so give me a second to warm my throat. Good lord. <laughs> Oh, absolutely wonderful! Uh, no, it's the person. It's the person on the left. That's the person gotcha, who's gotcha. you have to be singing. The, 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 fr the phrase on the right is what you have to use to sing it. Those are the lyrics you have to sing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you are you ready? Been here for ages. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. I'm wrestling with chaos and Dave. I'm wrestling with chaos and Dave. Do I'm wrestling Kayla and Dave. I'm wrestling with chaos and Dave. Dave? Dave? Uh, is it's not the Bellas, is it? <laughs> it's not the Bellas. I, I think you're doing a good job, James. I can hear it. Yeah. Um, uh, Tempest, Tempest and Kayla, you also have guesses. Tempest? Is it the million dollar man? It, it is. Yes. Money, oh. money, 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 yeah, money, money. Very, very good. Bing. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm sorry that you were you were googling arm wrestling with Chaz and Dave. <laughs> 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 like, oh, who are these QAnon looking men? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fun times. Okay, Tempest, uh, this is for you, sir. Um, that is sent through now. Uh, is that? That's received. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you need time? I don't think so. Oh, why? Right. No. Well, the, the, the floor is yours, my boy. <clears throat> okay. I did a poopy. I did a poopy. I did a poopy. I did the poopy, I did the poopy, I did the poopy. Better than I thought it would be. <laughs> Help me out, guys. You can get it. There's we not much to, it much again. to it. <laughs> I did the poopy, I did the poopy, I did the poopy. Keep going, do it again. <laughs> it's the same thing. 
There's keep no, doing, keep doing it. I need another <laughs> reference. I need uh, to hear more. James, James, I will hear your guess. Is it the NWO? It is. <laughs> I was like, how I do I gonna keep not the answering this and make it keep going? <laughs> the only part of the song is I sacrificed wow, myself. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Wow. please cut it out. Make it into a GIF. Send me the audio file, please. I need that. That's everything to me. All right. So we're going to do that one more time all over oh, no. Oh, yes. Uh, Dave, go I back to your think. DMs, sir. There's, you've got incoming. My favorite round. All right. So, Dave, that is for you. Uh, do you need time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You got this? Yeah, I'm so sorry, Kayla. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. ready. All right, floor's yours. So many geese, 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 so many, <laughs> so many geese. <laughs> I'll do it again. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So many geese, so many geese. So many, 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 many geese. There's loads yeah, come, of geese. Come on. <laughs> I, I made it easier that time. Kayla. Kayla? Uh, Shane McMahon? It's yeah. Shane McMahon. Very I good. did it. Oh. Here comes the money. Here we go. Oh. Money, 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 money. Thank money, you for money. that that repetition that really like yeah. drove it home for me. Made me confident. Borderline. <laughs> Borderline Dave Bradshaw, but I'll allow it. Uh, Kayla, bang, in your DMs straight away. That is ready to go. Oh, God. Let me listen to it. Oh, I can't recall need... stuff off of my head. Like, I just, I'm, I have a terrible memory. Let me just reference. That's fair. To Over to the ultra chats I go. Scott Reichert says, hey, guys, watching from Baltimore, Maryland, and want to say thank you for being a bright spot in these crazy times. Adam, who is your go-to wrestler when playing WCW versus NWO Revenge in the N64? So I never actually, I didn't own it. I borrowed it from a friend, and genuinely my favorite, <laughs> I think I've told this story before on Quizomania, but my favorite wrestler to play as was Eric Bischoff. Because <laughs> I didn't know who he was, and he did a lot of karate stuff, and I thought that was really fun. <laughs> he was just like doing his. He came down in his in his fucking gi, um, and yeah, all of his moves. Like he didn't do grapplers; he just did kicks and punches. And I thought that was cool. I thought he was like some kind of like overpowered ninja. Eric Bischoff was my character. Did anyone else have a main playing any of the wrestling games on the N sixty four? Quote unquote Sting. What you mean, the Jeff Farmer fake Sting? <laughs> Yeah, just quote because there's Sting and then there's Sting. And you preferred fake Sting. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? I suppose. Uh, it, Kayla, how you what doing? Was this, what was the I think I'm good. The Fred Durst. Remember SmackDown Two? Know your role, yeah. sir. I quite yeah, like. Yeah, if you yeah. if you did like a crazy thing with the Undertaker, like lasted a crazy amount in this like slobber knocker mode, you get to come out as Fred Durst, and he would come out and he would do rolling, rolling. yeah 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 with his with his with his low rider and his backwards cap um kayla the floor is yours okay i think i'm good all right sandra bullock sandra sandra bullock sandra bullock sandra james. Bullock. Oh, Tempest, james i heard james first booker t booker t very very oh, good man. sandra bullock <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Very it worked good. out really well for me. Really did. Thank you. All <laughs> right. Uh, James, bang. Straight away. And then Tempest, I'm going to tee yours up. So you're good to go. Oh, I had to remember mm. what her, what that, what that, I had to remember what their theme song was. Okay. That's uh, absolutely fine. You can take all the time you need to listen to it while I answer some ultra chats. Oh, you do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely no problem. Uh, Dan God of Thunder says, uh, you mean this isn't to rebuild Hadrian's Wall to keep the Scottish out? Darn. Happy to help anyway. Also, pb and P, it's fine. The salty, sour, sweet works, but I don't think I'd do it again, Tempest. Hey, if it works, At least it works. you tried. That's the thing. Like, I think that's the first kind of mild reaction I've had. That's almost more damning, isn't it? That I tried it, and it was no great shakes. It wasn't terrible, but it was... It was nothing, is what he was saying. Right. Yeah. Wow. Well, I would at least it. listen to that. 
James, you're all, ready. All, these other all right, it's my turn now. Okay, I am. Okay, here we go. As requested by Adam Blancpier. You're welcome. Soggy bottom, soggy, soggy, soggy bottom, soggy bottom, soggy, 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 soggy bottom. Kayla. Kayla. AJ Lee. It is AJ Lee. Oh my goodness. Very, very well played. You love to see it. Three points apiece. Wonderful. I haven't had to sing at all, which I'm I'm a little upset about. Um, <laughs> right. Finally, temples. Bang. There you go. That is your final one. Then we'll do the scores. And then we shall move right along. Oh. All right. Give me give me a sec. Give me, let me let, let me listen to this one. Oh my god. Really? I know the first line, and that's about it. <laughs> okay, fine. Law has donated ten dollars to say uh, donate five before I heard only ten dollar plus would be read out. Don't remember exactly what I said, but I just got to show some uh, support to the goat tempest. Trans lives matter. Black lives matter. Aiden Williams says back at it again with the Quizzlemania, and back at it again with the James. That James hoping for a big upset win for her, beating the behemoth that is L I Dub Rep Tempest. Go James in all caps. Lovely. Uh, Evan, the Canadian giant says, I'm in a slump today, but I'm going to try my best to remember. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? Thanks again for these shows. Also, Tempest, love the mask. Hashtag real men wear pink. And Bazongazar yeah. says, <laughs> I mean, yes. Uh, have you all noticed that Tempest looks like a proboscis monkey <laughs> with a new mask? <laughs> it's absolutely uncanny. Also, everyone, be proud of yourself. You are amazing and beautiful just the way you are. What does that mean? Uh, I'll find a picture of a proboscis monkey. Yeah, everyone's super beautiful just the way they are, except me, who looks like a monkey, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the, they're so cute they are cute you'll you'll everyone's about to find out how cute they are because i found a really good picture of one <laughs> so tempest just could you angle your head slightly that way like like that thank you mate so this is a proboscis monkey oh. <laughs> it's the same it's identical <laughs> look at that oh, no. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> hold, hold, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, it's not working anymore. Oh no, oh, no. the shade button. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh tempest what, have i just ruined your gimmick <laughs> i mean no uh, people have been saying all week that this mask looks like i have a big nose but you know what it's comfortable so i don't care anymore that's it's the way better to look than at the it, last tempest. one <laughs> all righty all righty shall we please okay <clears throat> okay Okay, hang on. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay. It's hard. It's hard to tee it up. Okay. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. 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 You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You're a good man, Charlie. Charlie Brown, a good man. That's as much as you're getting. <laughs> okay. Do we have any guesses from that? Once more with feeling. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you give us a, a oh, reprise? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Tempest, I, Tempest, you got this. Okay. Oh, God. We're seeing the other one. You know, yeah, the other one that you did. Yeah. It would make it easier if you did the I did a poopy again. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. The other one. I hate I hate this song. I hate it. Absolutely you could, hate you it. Could, I tell you what, I will allow you to substitute I did a poopy uh, if that will help, Tempest. It will. Okay. I think it'll uh, help. Let, let's 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 go for it. At the very least it's content. Okay. <clears throat> I did a poopy. 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 I did it a poopy. I did 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 a poopy. No clue. 
I mean, I want more of it, but I don't help know what out. Help me out, people. I can't be the only one who doesn't get points for one of these things. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Oh, um, did they call that theme for him? They, 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 <laughs> was that a clue? That might have been a clue. What he was it, it's not Snitsky. It's not Snitsky. Right? It's not ah, Snitsky. I thought it was a subtle clue. Uh, All right, Kayla. Me, Kayla. Is it Sid? It is not Sid, but I like the reference you just oh, made. Oh. Um, all right. Any more? Any more guesses before I before I step in? Can I? Can I try the other one? Yeah, yeah, Maybe. for sure. You can try any of the themes. You know, like maybe I'll be able to do this. Um, I, I'm going to allow Kayla her guess back, though, if you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. <clears throat> I did a poo poopy. <laughs> I did a poopy. 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 Oh, come on, people! What are you singing? What are you singing? This one is hard. Yeah, it is. There's not. There's not enough beats for the number of syllables. Does this mean, Adam, you get to sing it now? I, I do. Guess. All right, I, I'll take over. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, though. I hope you don't mind. I'm not going to sing I Did a Poopy. <sighs> Where does it go? You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. <sighs> what? You're a good man, Charlie Brown. That's all I've got. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You learn the man, Charlie Brown. You're a good man. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You all are bad at this game. I think I I think I've got it there, Tempest. Do you think you I got it? There? <laughs> no, James Mansfield. That might be the thing. Gets no. It. <laughs> no. Having Having now taken a look at the chat very quickly, seeing as I can't do anything else here, uh, the chat absolutely has had it the whole time. Get so. out of the chat, Tempest. Get out of the chat. But no, oh, yeah, I, means, Tempest. I am going to take points away yes. from all of you. It's oh. a shameful thing. Lost her Lobster. head. Lobster head. Oh, no, oh, Kayla. No. Oh. Kayla, I, I take yeah. it back. <laughs> yeah, you took points away. You drove Kayla away, Tempest. Kayla, <laughs> Kayla, come, Tempest, go and get Kayla back. While we wait for her to come back, and Tempest just do another poopy song. <laughs> I'd rather not. Yeah. I'd rather not. We could just do that for the rest of the night. That, I, that would be fine. But it's all content, Tempest. Yeah. Oh man, Kayla, Kayla, come, Kayla. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Kayla, come back. Ooh. I'm just gonna message her, Kayla. We're sorry. <laughs> hey, look, really hey, look, come back. Parking lot right now with that Wi Fi. That's what's probably happening. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, uh, while we're waiting for Kayla to rejoin us, as I'm sure will, um, let's head on over to our ultra chats. Uh, Tarek Ali says, Hello, WrestleTalk family and friends. Love the show, love the cause. Pride started as a riot, so let us riot until peace and equality for all, independent of sexual identity, is a reality. Uh, Tim has donated £50 saying, Hi, peeps. Pleasure to see you as always. Would you be so kind as to answer two urgent questions, please? Hello, Kayla. Sorry. My, my internet decided to just not like the songs that were being sang, so I got. It made me leave. I think all the I did a poopy probably just like pinged your safe search. And shut down shut everything. Thing down. Yeah. Um, we have two urgent questions from Tim saying, is calling spots coming back? I mean, maybe for like one off episodes. We liked doing it. It just, it, well, unfortunately, people weren't watching it enough to justify the time that we put into it. Uh, but for one off things, yeah, for sure. Calling spots is a lot of fun. And is Splook Owen a spoon or a sperm? <laughs> Hugs and snuggles to all. Can confirm that Splook Owen is a sperm. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Denise would agree I got that one right. All right, so after that round, here are the scores as they stand. In last place with 15 points. Dave, I'm so sorry, but you've still got it all to play for. 
How many rounds just, are left? How, can I bring this back? How many rounds are there? Two rounds are left. Okay. So you've got you've got you've oh, got wow. time to bring it back. Don't you worry. Um, Five rounder. In third place with eighteen points, it's Kayla. Very nicely done. In second place with thirty, it's Tempest. In first place with 34, Ooh. it's James me? Manfield. Me? Oh my, me? <laughs> Humble, the beacon of humility and grace that oh. is James Mansfield. Uh, super exciting stuff, but we do have two rounds left to go. And though, and the first one of those rounds, uh, he was very upset that I was doing this round again, but that's fine. It's Barber <laughs> Shop. <laughs> As we all remember, Smooth Pete. Um, Read it, Bob. <laughs> yeah, look, he, he looks he looks great. He looks great. So what I've done is I have gone through uh, five uh, wrestlers and I have um, isolated their hair. And like um, the, what's the name of the guy with the, Willy Willy. Like Willy Willy himself, I have placed the hair onto Smooth Pete. Yeah. Kayla, Kayla, please. I can't handle these tantrums, Kayla. <laughs> My God. Like, so, so emotional. Right. Um, Kayla, uh, come back. Ooh, we can blame it all on Pete. Kayla, <laughs> Kayla, please. I know tensions are running high. Uh, Couch Potato Lucha Libre says, for the congregation, for Beans and Frank, for Manami Toyota being everyone's daddy, hashtag Bean That Bean, Go, Kayla. Oh, no. Kayla's gone. She did. Troll she went. She did. Trollolol says WWE's destruction of Alexa Bliss will be complete when she wins a match, bus straddling the opponent head and choking her out. A finisher that will sadly be known as the Blister Pack. What? Thank you, Trollolol. Uh, Kate Kochwa says, uh, says nothing, but I simply donated $50 lovely and simon renshaw has also donated 50 dollars, saying donated for a great cause jam that jam jared mccullough says wonderful work you do lads love the content and a worthy cause to donate to go tempest and alucard alucard says james i loved your reviews with alison pregler and it's incredible to see you here too tempest now you and kenny omega have one more thing in common truly congrats Awesome. And 69 intangible Sadie Deegan says, hello, friends, James in capitals. I adore your chaotic wig videos. You are hilarious. My king, big brain tempest. As a fellow bisexual, I think your snuggie looks beautiful. Your new mask, your eyes look so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It does. It does highlight your eyes. Tempest. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Those, I've got, I've got good blues. lighting going on. Yeah, my lovely blue eyes. Wow. And, while and we're his, just nose, uh, so his nose. Yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> massive schnoz. Um. <laughs> I, I do. I do genuinely. I do genuinely feel bad about flashing that up on screen. That's not fair. <laughs> because what this is a special charity episode, and it literally ex acceptance and tolerance and inclusivity is the name of the game, and we shouldn't be flashing <laughs> images like that on screen and comparing no. them to our, our beloved, our beloved not. champion. You should not do that three times. And the worst thing would be <laughs> if someone took that picture and made the mouth. <laughs> I, I, I need it's a poopy. Like, it does look like poopy. that. It does look like yeah. he needs a poopy. That's yeah. absolutely fair. That would be awful if anyone did that. What would it look like with a mask on? <laughs> well, I leave that to Twitter to yeah. <laughs> to do their Twitter work. I'm sure we'll be uh, mods. If do scroll Twitter and see if anyone sends in a picture, I'll put it on the screen uh, oh, before God. the end of the show. Uh, good luck getting a new mask, Tempest. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Cyclones already sent me a meme. I'm just gonna pop it on. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh lord. This, do 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 tell us when this gets to be uh annoying, Tempest. You'll let us um, know, won't you? Sure. Thank yeah, you. Go bud. for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Just a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Just a bit of fun. I could. I, I couldn't design a mask. So who am I to no. judge? No. Uh, Keiki says Tempest. Even though you are a Wish.com version of Rey Mysterio, glad you came out on Quizania. Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> 
<laughs> one day coming out will be as obsolete as people can simply be themselves james looking fab bt dubs thank you you are looking wonderful tonight james i must say um what a what, a, what a, and your your location on set is uh so so glamorous Yes, I know, I know, I know. I try, I really try for you folks as you're in your mom's house, your closet and what looks to be a storage unit, Adam. Uh, I, hey, I've got, oh, I like my little story. <laughs> I've got a drinks cabinet in here. Thank you very much. Wait, the you got one on me, all right. <laughs> Chin chin. Uh, so I have I've have received messages from Kayla saying trying to get back up. Uh, not sure what's going on. Erg, I don't know what's wrong. I'm sorry. That's absolutely fine, Kayla. We're going to keep uh, answering Ultra Chats until you can get back on your feet. We are pulling for you. Let's get a Kayla chant going in the comments, shall we? Uh, the I creepy talking show. Request for attention on Kayla's part. That's isn't all. it just? It's so much like them. All right. The creepy talking says. Though. Celebrating three years after coming out to my fam uh, my family and friends as bisexual makes the eleven month wait to June worth it. So much love and support this month, even in loss. Indorkables are taking over. Uh, damn, damn, man, coming for you. Uh, also, Adam Blam buy this shirt. Not to cut anyone off, but this is a shirt from a good friend of mine, Adnan Qureshi, the ring announcer for New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong. You can get this shirt, the Adnan Taraj shirt, at uh, ProWrestlingTees.com. So make sure you do that. That's a good chap. That okay. is a fine shirt. A fine shirt. Uh, Adam Blamplate says, hey, guys, I hope you're doing well this lovely summer evening. Last week, Vice aired a documentary on China, and I was wondering if you had seen it. And if you did, what did you think of it? I actually haven't seen it yet. Um, very interested, too, uh, obviously. Uh, has anyone seen it? I just saw it. It's really sad. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. Yeah, that and makes sense. Yeah, I won't spoil anything, but definitely it will make you feel really bad for, like, the circumstances she was put in. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Kayla! I'm telling you, I'm not winning. And so Phil went out and chewed through my internet cord. So <laughs> do I have a stable connection? I'm not sure. Um, but I, I need to win so my dog doesn't like burn my house down. I mean, that's some motivation right there. Um, all right, let me just rearrange you as you should be. Lovely. All right, uh, we're heading into Barber Chop. Uh, you know yeah. the rules. Um, so this is not fingers on buzzers. This is, um, I'm going to let you guys write it down. Um, okay. but hello, Bean. Hello, Bean. So uh, very simply, you tell me who the wrestler is from the isolated haircut. Who is this? <laughs> Scott Hall. <laughs> okay, Kayla, oh. you write it down. You write it down. I thought this was like a sample clip. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The internet problem really threw me off my game. <laughs> that's, that's fine. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Hobby Night. Oh, my God. Wow. Hobby Night, a.k.a. the wonderful Angela, who has recently appeared on an episode of Blood and the Clock Tower on No Rolls Bard. First of all, check out... Um, uh, the episode that Angela's in. It's wonderful. But also head on over to Hobby Night on YouTube. If you're in any way interested in board games, miniatures, painting, uh, Hobby Night is a fantastic channel. Head on over there and subscribe. Angela's wonderful. And they've just sent in $500 saying, uh, love you all. Sorry, Adam. Next Blood in the Clock Tower will go full Sherlock. Also, why did I trust Sully? Why does anyone trust Sully? Right. Uh, Kayla, who's, whose haircut is this? <laughs> I changed my answer to Razor Ramon just oh very just good, to very not, good. <laughs> just to save myself. <laughs> uh, very very good. Oh, how do I get you off the screen? There you are, uh, Dave. Who do you think that is? <laughs> Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon. James Mansfield. Who do you think that is? I said Scott Hall, but it was Razor Ramon. <laughs> Razor Ramon. And is it Razor? It's Raza Ramon. Very, very good. <laughs> I just said it out loud and you it was like there was, it. there was nothing. It just came out. There was no I, thought behind that. That's just how how good I am. I mean, hell, you definitely knew the right answer. Can't say fairer <laughs> than that. Next up, uh, Kayla, I almost guarantee that you'll know this one. Whom is this? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Ross and Natalie uh, saying, hey, Adam, thanks so much for everything you've done for us, from giving us our fortnightly date night for the past year since we watched on our second date and much more. You guys rock. 
you rock ross and you rock natalie uh congratulations on a year together you guys are the best thank you for uh, thank you for being such loyal watchers of quizlemania you guys rule i hope you're watching this now you're the best uh cad or cad says congratulations tempest but i've got to say hashtag out fuck everybody happy pride and the other tempest says happy to give to a good cause love you all jam that jam l i w for life uh dave who was that is it leilani kai leilani kai um james mansfield that would have to be bull nakano oh, no. bull nakano tempest it's bull nakano but i'm trying to catch up here make it bull hard nakano. james oh no kayla <laughs> the legend herself of course, it is the one and only. I do, Bull Nakano. Bull Nakano. Oh, my wonderful Blaze opponents mixed up, haven't I? <laughs> you did indeed. Uh, yeah, so cool. three points uh, to everyone except for Dave there, I'm afraid. Next up, uh, who is this? Who huh. is that? Uh, Paul Biddle says thank you as always for the entertainment. Been watching since Quizmania oh. One. Much love to you all. Mary Death Machaos says uh, I tried the peanut butter and pickle sandwich and it was just meh. Cheese and jam is a far better combo. Cheese oh, and God. jam. Cheese and jam. This person cannot. Y'all cannot be trusted. Have you never had a charcuterie board with cheese and jam on it? Well, I've had a charcuterie board with cheese and meat. No, there's there's like honey board. and jam. So Coochie board. It's like a Ouija board. Board, yeah. A little bit of brie, a little bit of like fig jam. So good. I mean, look, I'll 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 extend the goodwill to chutney, but to jam? It's it's delicious. I promise. All right, Kayla, but I like you a little less than I did a minute ago. I'm it's sorry. It's not my fault that you don't have taste buds. Wow, wow, yeah. coming in hot. All right, so who is this? Can you guess them from their barnet? Does everyone have an answer on the page? Yeah. Yes. I do now. Oh, uh, sorry. I need to finish off Mary Death <laughs> Chaos's, um message. Down with LIW. Everything will be fake or jam that jam. There we are. Big um, not playing. Get out of here. All See, right. Dave, peek out from the tendrils has been the highlight of this so far. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who is this Tempest? Mm. I this could be like four different people, but I went with Raven. Raven. Ooh, Dave. Uh, I didn't know. I thought it might be like an early Brian Pillman. Ooh, Brian Pillman. James Mansfield. I said Nash. Kevin Nash. Raven. And Kayla. I went Edge. Edge. Oh, Interesting. I got you. I got you all. It is post long match. Dolph Ziggler. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now the I'm sad that I three... didn't. Dolphy with roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Going. I also, also oh, yeah, had Dolph Jungle Ziggler. Boy. Thanks a lot for that, Adam. <laughs> I had Jungle Boy, Griff Garrison, and Nidia as also possible <laughs> answers. I could see Nidia. I really could. Yeah, yeah, it could have went several ways. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, who is this? Who is that? One of my better photoshops. It just looks like Pete's had some... <laughs> Had some Ollie Davis work done. Uh, the Nacho fan blandly average says wonderful cause. Thanks for the consistently entertaining quiz show. Jam that jam, my friends, and has donated fifty dollars. Very generous. Thank you so much. Uh, Weston has said simply messaged in saying thank you. Uh, Jerry Grapp says love you guys for all the love you spread. Now I'm going to sit back and watch Tempest dominate this quiz. Well, <laughs> uh, L J Mickey says good evening everybody. Happy Pride Month to everyone. Who, in your opinion, is the most influential LGBTQ person in wrestling history? My choice would be Pat Patterson. Jam that jam. Um, anyone have a have an advance? I think that's a that's a fairly decent shout. I mean, I think yeah. Darren Young, obviously, um, for one of the most public cases of coming out um during a time when not a lot of people I did say like cassandra from the exoticos yep. prolific yep. career on cassandra 
Yeah. Absolutely. Very, very good. I'm going to go recent and say that Effie is changing the world. Yeah, Effie's great. Effie's daddy. <laughs> oh. And finally, Adnan Qureshi, uh, an L. Wait, hang on a second. That's my man. <laughs> that's, your, that's your guy, Tempest. I also, I messed up the plug earlier. It's not on Pro Wrestling Tees. It's on whatamaneuver.net if you want the t-shirt. Uh, sorry, how do I pronounce his surname? I really don't want to mess it up. I think it's Qureshi. Qureshi, I got it. Adnan Qureshi says, shout out to Tempest for the sweet Adnan Taraj shirt you can get on Whatamaneuver. <laughs> Watch hashtag NJPW Strong on Friday nights and join us for resurgence at the LA Coliseum on August 14th. Great work y'all awesome oh so are we talking about merch I, plug away plug oh, away taylor awesome. before your so internet Yoshi is about to release the flying angel collection dedicated to manami toyota this friday at 6 p.m eastern standard time if you haven't seen it we curated it ourselves we're very very proud of it uh shout out to slingshot house for housing us but shorts two t-shirts and a crop top for all the, of your summer needs. Is that the beautiful all white collection that I've mm -hmm. been seeing around Twitter? It's mm -hmm. good stuff. It's good Thank stuff. You. Uh, Thank you. DM, DM me a picture. I'll uh, I'll whack it on the on the stream for you for everyone. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, all right, and finally Trent Y says I may be a generic preset straight in white. Uh, so I'm sorry, me too. Uh, but I have many friends waving that pride flag, and I love each and every single one. I'm happy to give to such a great cause, and happy quizzing everyone. All right, so who is this? Everyone have answers on the page? Nope. Yes. That's that's fair, Kayla. You are you are busy. You are busy getting merch options. Oh, Picture is sent. I still it don't all looks so good. I'm adding it to the back end right now. Don't you worry about a thing. Uh, re remind me the name of this collection again. It's called the Flying Angel Collection. Absolutely. Nami Toyota was the Flying Angel. Look how good it is. I the gold it. metallic is hella limited so don't sleep on it we sold out in one day for our first launch so this will go as fast not to brag marvel i love but the I gold bragging. on white that absolutely rocks um so where can people where, where can people get this kayla um so we will we will drop the link right before 6 p.m eastern standard time on our twitter and our instagram um oh, we can't drop the link ahead of time that's fair. Um, does anyone else have any merch that they would like to plug? Because now is your time. <laughs> I need to get a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. For wigs, I sell wigs. James Mansfield Beauty. There you go. Not wrestling related, but it could be. I love yeah. wigs. I love wigs. <laughs> Me too. I got a ponytail to Tempest mask. That'd be fun. Yeah. All right. Hang so... on. No, the hair is in there. I got plenty of it. <laughs> you it's, sure it's, do. It's, it's too much. On with the quiz. Who is this? Okay. Let's go with Dave first. I, that, it looks like an old-fashioned haircut from like a few decades ago. I'm wondering whether it's a young Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson? James Mansfield? I at first said Billy Gunn, but then I crossed up my answer and thought that has to be old DuckTales Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff? Tempest? I also went with a, an old picture of Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson, and finally, Kayla. Is the hair pink? The, I can't answer that question, I'm afraid. I put a big old whopping question mark because I could not recall who in the world ever had pink hair, so I'm forfeiting that one. I could not pull anything out of my brain. Fair enough. Well, to answer your question now that you have uh, got the answer wrong, I can say that that hair is not pink. It is white because that hair belongs to Pat Patterson. Yes. Oh, very, man, that looked good. pink. Yeah. Big points. Big, important points for Tempest I got that there. wrong during Pride Month. Ugh. Very important points for Tempest. All right. And finally, we're only doing five for this round because we do have one round left. And that round can take a while. So mm -hmm. finally, oh who is this? Who is that? This could, be, this could be so many people. Pete, you've never looked better. 
who is that um matty maitai says you guys make every other wednesday worthwhile how could i not donate just know you guys have a pride ally in me also did diet dr pepper tempest bone up on ecw trivia that did him <laughs> in last time shiva wilding says wanted to say wanted to also say that i picked up a ddp yoga thanks to you adam not even sponsored by the lad so thank you for the recommendation and tempest holy shit dude what a way to open a special quiz of mania couldn't be prouder amen uh, Nala says, "Who?" <laughs> Nala says, "Who is your favorite Disney animal?" Adam, Adam, you don't need to answer. Everyone knows you want Nala from Lion King. Keep up the good work. Happy Pride and Happy Midsummer. That is this weekend. Look, I didn't say that Nala is my favorite Disney animal. I just said that on the scale of fuckable Disney animals, Nala is on the sexier side. Am I wrong? No, I will 100% back you up on that. Thank you, Tempest. That one scene when they're well, doing the Can You Feel the Love Tonight? She's got the, the come come bang me eyes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, hey, Finish Tempest. I, never, sentence, please. I, didn't, I didn't phrase it like that. Robin, That's Robin, what she does, though. Robin she Hood. She lies back and she's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Robin Hood. I'm divorcing myself from this conversation. <laughs> No, no. Robin Hood, Nala, and of course, well, if you're Ollie Davis, the bunny from Zootopia, because for some reason he's got the real hops for that bunny. Uh, right. He's got the hops for that bunny? He likes a working girl. <laughs> Here you go. All cops are bunnies. All right. Uh, so, Kayla, uh, who oh, whose hair is that? I went Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega. James Mansfield. I said Daddy Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville. She rocks a high pony, that one. I don't think this is in any way correct, but I put Bailey. Bailey and Tempest. Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville can confirm that it is indeed. Pitch is just loading. Sonia Deville. <laughs> very, very good. All right, so that is points for James, points for Tempest, which means the scores after that round are as follows. In last place with 21, Dave Bradshaw. In third place with 24, it's Kayla. In second place with 42, Tempest. In first place with 43, James Mansfield. Ooh. What? Oh, I don't know what to say. It's Wait till the lightning round. That's when it's all going to fall to shit. Well, I can confirm that this will be our final round. Um, <laughs> the final round will be That's My Line. Of course it is. Yes, of course it is. Um, but first, let's head on over to our fundraising page to see how we are doing. £1,672. Thank you so much, everyone. Keep those donations coming in because obviously we will be accepting Ultra Chats and reading them out after the show is finished. But that is amazing generosity. We love you all. All right. So the way that that's my line goes is as follows. I am going to assign each of you a wrestler. And you have to work out who that wrestler is by asking me a series of yes, no questions. Okay. Uh, you start with 20 points. For every question that you ask me that isn't a correct guess, you will lose a point. And they will tick down and down and down and down until you get to zero, which points then the round is over for you. But if you correctly guess the wrestler, then you will get the number of points that is currently on screen. And seeing as there is only uh, three points between last place and third place, and only one point between second place and first place, well then, this is going to be interesting. We are going to go in order from fourth to first, which means, Dave, step on up. Wait, um, so how, many, how many points are there between fourth and first? That is... That's less positive for you, Dave. That's, okay. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Right. I, I withdraw my question. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I, however, have got six options for you. Um, can I have a number between one and six, please? Um, I'm going to go with the number of goals England won by last night, which was only one. One. I have your wrestler's information in front of me. I am ready when you are. Uh, oh, do they identify as male? They do identify as male. Are they alive? Yes. 
Uh, are they still actively wrestling? Yes. Uh, are they employed by WWE? Yes. Uh, are they on main roster, so Raw or SmackDown? Yes. Um, have they been a like world champion, so like world or universal champion? Yes. Hmm. Look, you gotta love the speed. You gotta love that speed. Mm. Love to see it. Uh, have they main evented WrestleMania? Like, and by main event, I mean last match. Yes. Hmm. But it was like a it was a pause and then a yes. So it's like it's not like a Roman Reigns type situation. <laughs> um, is it? Hmm. Is it the Miz? No. Oh, that was a a wild card guess. Just throwing it out there. Um, uh, have they? Do they have? Oh, I don't know. Uh, have they won the Rumble? Yes. Ah. Interesting. Oh, oh, Kayla. Kayla. Oh, well, God. Obviously, it wasn't that interesting. <laughs> um, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Who's won the Rumble and main evented WrestleMania? Uh, have they main evented WrestleMania in the last 10 years? Yes. Okay. There's only a certain number of people, right? Who've been on last at WrestleMania having won a Royal Rumble. Shinsuke never was. Can't be Nakamura. Could it be? Oh man, is it Drew? No. Uh, all right, I'm going backwards through time now. I'm trying to think. Thirty-five, thirty-four. Ah, uh, oh, this is hard. Is it? Mm -hmm. Brock's never won the Rumble, right? Um, he has, but. In 2003. Hey. hey, is it Brock? Oh uh, no! Oh. <laughs> you can't just give him give him help. Yeah. Well, why did that help? Well, no. Are you really that worried about coming back, Tempest? <laughs> no, but there's a principle here. Oh wow, Tempest! I'm, I'm a man of rules and consistency. I can uh, see that second place is really really, is really getting to you, bad. Tempest. Is it Orton? My oh my it. dude! No, Walter? my dude! Uh, <laughs> oh, you will kick yourself, sir. Oh man, right. I'm back to like, I'm going backwards through. That was 32. Who main evented 31? Um, Rollins. There you go. Yes. Seven points. It was Seth Annual Rollins, uh, who technically main evented WrestleMania 31. I the pause was a little too helpful. But uh, I no, stand that, by. Wasn't that helpful? <laughs> no, well, no, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, right, very, very, very good. All right. Uh, so we would now be having Kayla uh, on on the stream, but unfortunately, <laughs> Kayla. Uh, I'm just messaging her, saying, "All good, no worries. See you soon." Can you tell her I got twenty points. Dave got. Dave got seven points no, and he's 20. super proud of himself. I want I wanted to look like, be like worried that I might catch her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, you know, it's possible that you might beat Kayla because you're she's only three points ahead of you. Um, right. So in ultra chats or we'll move on to the next person. Let's do some ultra chat, shall we? I, I want to do things in the right order because first place and second place is so tight. I want to make sure that we give that the due respect. Uh, Kayla has responded. There's apparently a reported outage in her area. Oh, Ooh. Kayla. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'll get you to answer, ask questions over over Twitter DMs or something. Uh, Matty Maitai says, question for all. What are some of your fantasy promo battles leading up to a match? I salivate at the prospect of Samoa Joe versus Eddie Kingston, just shredding each other to bits. Um, Punk Austin has always been like a, like a promo dream situation for me. 
maybe kind of Tommaso Champer and Orton, like just like killer versus killer. Anyone else have like anyone else have like a feud that they want to see the promos for, and if not necessarily the match for? Hmm. I'd like to see um, CM Punk go up against a promo match with the Cat. Yeah, Stacey Carter the Cat. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean that, yeah, e evenly matched for sure. Um, <laughs> you imagine? I'm going to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would, you know, that would win. Yeah. Good, good luck debating against that, CM Punk. Your arms are too <laughs> short to box with God. Um, um, Rose Rose Rose. Booking. Classic Russo booking right here. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Dusty, Dusty Rhodes is like anyone. Um, yeah. I, I rewatched a load of his stuff. I had to write an article for. Uh, for the rest of talk magazine last month about about promos like the best 10 promos ever so i watched like all the cool dusty ones from like the mid 80s and he's like he's the man it's ridiculous oh, is it the so, one where he just like walks like storms down to the ring and yeah yeah he's he's he was the best like the hard times promo is art it is yeah genuinely art it's Gen incredible. genuinely like yeah brings a tear to my eye like it's so it's so stirring um what what else were the your, your favorite promos of all time dave um did the well, pipe bomb feature in that list yeah pipe bomb well, that's why i was doing the article because it's tw 25 years this month since the, oh, of course. Oh, sorry 10 years since the pipe bomb and 25 years today in fact since the king of the ring 96 austin 316 promo wow um what else did i i'm trying to think what else i uh but it's really hard to do because like there's i i didn't have anything in there by roddy piper i didn't have anything in there by jake roberts it's when you've got to limit it to 10 it's uh it's really Tricky. I put like the Hogan NWO one in there, like where he, you know, when he turned heel at Bash at the Beach, even though the promo was kind of lame and he got the name wrong twice. Um, but, you know, it was an important promo. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot. It's very hard to pick. How about, uh, how about the Kane Dewey promo? From Mick Foley yeah. and ECW. Yeah. I, I was watching um, the Broken Skull sessions just earlier today, in fact, and they showed a little bit of the Kane Dewey. Kane Dewey. Kane Dewey. It's so, so good. Oh, I put what that. underrated promo Mick Foley is, even though everyone thinks he's great. Brett Absolutely. screwed Brett. I put Brett screwed Brett in there. Yeah, Brett screwed Brett. I mean, yeah. as a Vince promo, just like that kind of talking the, head. The birth of the Vince heel character by accident, because he thought he was cutting a babyface promo. Yeah. Um, yeah. All of Vince's great successes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, most honestly though, they're all accidents. Like yeah. the Steve Austin King of the Ring moment was an accident because it was supposed to be Triple H to win. Hell, man, most most wrestling like most superstar pushes in wrestling kind of are kind of lightning in a bottle moments that you can yeah. never predict. Like uh, Dave, we we remember fondly the WCPW days. Uh, I don't think any of us planned for Martin Kirby to become this incredibly. Over I mean, everyone knows that Martin Kirby is great, one of the funniest, nicest, and one of the best kind of like British talents. Um, but like you know, just one kind of mat crazy match he had with Will Ospreay, like one, and then suddenly just yeah, this became our kind of homegrown. I mean, homegrown, he'd been going for years before us, of course, but he became like the real, the, the hometown WCPW guy. And it wasn't we had planned, this, but we the, uh, the Zoidberg elbow, right? Which was where he does the Zoidberg thing and, and <laughs> shuffles along the middle rope. And then he's, he drops an elbow, doesn't he? It's an elbow. Yeah, it never it hit it. Spins. Yeah, until oh. one time. We got, we, got, we got the time he hit it, which I'm very, very, very proud of. Um, and that, uh, that was where he won the world title. Uh, I'm hardwired in, says Kayla, and it's just dead. I was able to get a hotspot on my phone, but it's super slow. Oh, oh Kayla. Um, I don't want to be I... like unsympathetic, but does that mean I come third? <laughs> Damn, Dave. <laughs> Damn, man. I feel turn. What a turn. <laughs> Adam, if you uh, if you want to waste a little bit more time, you, you might want to check Twitter. There's a picture that you could add to the back end. Oh, oh. Oh, really? <laughs> they put a mask you on brought mouth? you brought that to my attention, Tempest. That was for you, the content. Yeah. For the content, it's so well performed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of art, oh my god, <laughs> art imitating life. 
I think that calls for it. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, right. So I'm going to try and work out what we can do with Kayla's connection. Uh, I'm just going to uh, read a quick in uh, ultra chat. To be fair, Floof always stares at the screen when Quizomania is on. He still is. It's weird. Should I be worried? Never be worried about your cat. John Baker says, uh, she'll always donate to a brilliant cause. Tempest is now even more of a hero, even with a strange choice of sandwich filling. Go pack, go. Also, thanks, Shane, for thanks, Shane, for the takeaway. Um, Asbjorn Falson says thanks for a great show love when you do these questions for the panel are there any wrestling storylines focused on LGBTQ plus characters i.e. not the in real life wrestlers that you have liked any storylines kayfabe examples of people from the community I'm, I'm assuming HLA not the... comes to mind I think that was a really profound yeah story. yeah of course yeah yeah of course yeah, HLA um... Billion Shark, famous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Lana and Liv Morgan, of course. <laughs> oh, I think Trish and Mickey James is actually better than people expected it to be. <laughs> yeah, like, gen I mean, genuinely, like it, it, that got Mickey James over. Whether or not it was the most tasteful depiction, uh, it got her over. It was very much of its time. <laughs> I mean, I think that the Golden Lovers in New Japan is probably as, as close as we've got to a yeah. good one yeah maybe. don't don't but, know how i hadn't thought of that but uh, that is the perfect answer in like in the major promotion i know i'm not including the indies in that but in the major promotions i mean like yeah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think yeah there's not a whole lot that spring to mind I mean, to be but fair, wrestling is not the known for their tastefulness when it comes to this topic in the past yeah no no um, Christiana says, thank you for Quizlemania. It's my boyfriend and my Wednesday highlight, and we never miss it. Love the mask, Tempest. Really brings out your blue eyes. Jam that jam. Love is love. Hashtag pride. Uh, Red has said, as a pansexual, non-binary, trans fan, I bloody love being queer and being a wrestling fan. It's incredible how much more accepting wrestling is now, so thank you for being part of that. Hashtag Quizlemania. Queerzlemania delightful stuff and mark wiley says love this community wrestling is more inclusive and fun because of you guys happy to donate for stonewall jam that rainbow jam oh that's lovely um okay uh so um i've been talking to kayla it looks like this is not how i wanted it to end it's not how anyone wanted it to end um but uh it looks like she's not going to be able to rejoin us which is genuinely heartbreaking kayla if you do uh, if you are watching this, which you're not because you don't have internet, um, but obviously if you can come back on, please do. And we will do your round no matter when you come back. Um, so that makes us a three-way dance. Yes, that's an ECW reference, Tempest. Very well, nice. Uh, I swear to God, if my choice here of like one to five is an ECW guy, I'm going to lose it. Oh boy. I was really hoping that Kayla would come back in so there would be like another person to go before me so I didn't have to go next, but this is high pressure now. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um no worries at all. So oh, Kayla is so apologetic. Please don't apologize to me, Kayla. No worries at all. Uh right, okay. So to one side, let's focus on the business at hand. And the business at hand is this friend. That this is, it's gonna is be the Quizzle Mania Trophy, the 867th richest prize in the game. This currently belongs to Tempest. But right now, Tempest is one point behind. So, Tempest, give me a number between one and five. L-I-W for life. All right, absolutely. I have your wrestler's information in front of me. I am ready when you are. All right, let's do this. All right. Do they identify as a male? No. All right. I feel really nervous and I can't win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me too. Me too. This is fun. 
I think I actually prefer that. Okay. Is she active? Yes. <gasps> Kayla's back. We can put Kayla. this on pause. Whoa, Kayla. Whoa. See how long it lasts. Okay, Kayla. <laughs> put me on pause. All right. Put me on pause. Do this first. No, no, Tempest. We'll finish. Oh, I don't know what to do. What is the correct Listen, protocol here? I told Adam if it dies again, because it's apparently a thing in my area, I'll just, I'll forfeit and all of my points can go to James. Okay. We got, we got to do. I love that. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta That's we gotta great. make, it's great make use of her being here all right look okay okay look you, you've got no information okay. other than active and female tempest so look yeah. we'll put a, we'll put a pin in you kayla give me a number for, <laughs> jesus give me a number between one and four uh two two it is let's do this shit i've got your wrestler's information in front of me hit me with your first question let's do this um are they female they are not. Also, uh, just so you need to know, you need to get uh, four or more points to beat Dave okay. Bradshaw. Okay. Um, are they active now? Yes. Um, are they employed by WWE? Yes. Are they on NXT? No. Are they an in-ring competitor? Yes. Are they a singles wrestler? Yes. Are they on TV in a feud right now? Yeah. Are they... Have they ever been in a tag team? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are they a past champion? Oh, uh, I, sorry. World champion. Please list the championships you count as a world champion. Um, just the just the top two, the raw championship and the overall. The, the old black belt, whatever. I don't know the names. <laughs> I'm stressed WWE right now. WWE and the Universal <laughs> Champion. Yeah, those two. Uh, no. No, they have not been. Okay. Um... I don't know. I don't know anybody that I don't know anything that's going on right now. Uh, have they? Were they on NXT? Yes. Have they had, did they have a match at WrestleMania this year? Yes. Oh, God. Um, have they been in any other promotions? Yeah. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. The John Morrison? I'm, not, I'm trying not to get excited here. You are getting close to <laughs> Dave close. Bradshaw third no place territory. No pressure. <laughs> I don't now. I don't remember. Did you say that they they are not in a tag team now? They're currently a singles wrestler. Did I ask? They're currently that? a singles wrestler. Currently a, a singles wrestler. Previously in a tag team. Has not been a champion. They weren't NXT. <sighs> My brain is too scrambled from the God, internet Taylor. stress. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you're you're in a, a whirlwind right now. I, I get that. You're doing very well. I'm like waiting on it to die again. Um, are they from America? No. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know. There's so many people that, that could be. It didn't even really narrow it down that much. Should should we uh, very quickly, just because Kayla wasn't here, should we say who Dave's wrestler was just on the 
off chance that Kayla guesses them and sure. wouldn't have the information of having not sure. been here. Sure. That's fair. Um, yeah. Seth Rollins uh, okay. was Dave's wrestler. Okay. Are they? Well, no, I guess this is, that's an opinion question. I was going to ask if they were underrated. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, do they have red hair? Yes. Is it Seamus? No. Okay, so right now you are tied with Dave for last for oh, third place. <clears throat> you have to get this right, otherwise you go to oh. fourth and Dave okay, okay, stays okay. in third. Who has red hair? Who has red hair? Oh, I know. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Just give good, all my points to James. <laughs> um, at, th at this point, it's not going to be that helpful. Oh my god, <laughs> a wrestler with red hair! Oh, you got this. Be... You can't ask me any more questions. You yeah, have to. This has to be the right guess. I know. That's why I'm taking my time. Nobody talk. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I'm really stressed. Um, you will get it. You will hold get on, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Manifest me... it, Kayla. Don't talk. I don't have it. I think I'm stressing myself out more than trying to figure it out. You do have it. Wrestlers at this WrestleMania who have red hair. It's so not Nails. Sheamus. No, it's not Sheamus. No, it's not Seamus, Kayla. Oh, no. <laughs> Seamus. Okay, 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 okay. I can't even remember WrestleMania. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked that question. <laughs> I watched it, and I don't even remember it. Kayla, um, the, the chat are rooting for you so oh hard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Also, the, the oh chat are just repeating this person's I name know, over I and know. over. I know. It's so obvious. I know it's going to be so obvious, and I'm just going to... I'm just gonna kick myself. There's only I'm, one other person that you think of that has red hair. I know, hair. and I can't. I literally, it's not there. It's not there. Oh, oh, Kayla, come roster and luck. <laughs> James is like cheat, cheat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we're not supposed to do that. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> we're not supposed to cheat. My oh, man. My god. <laughs> if, it, if it helps, I don't know it either. Yes, you do, Dave. No, I, well, I can't think. That's my problem, is that I know it, but I don't know it. Tempest, do you know it? Yeah. It's, mm. it's I know it's going to be the most obvious thing in the world. Okay, they're male. They were just in WrestleMania. They've been in a tag team, and they were in NXT. Oh, my God. I... Oh, yeah. I can't. I can't. That's, that's I keep. I keep wanting to say Alistair Black, but he just got let go. So, and I can't. I can't. It's not just, there. Just throw a name at me, Kayla. Just throw. A oh, name. I don't. I don't even have any. I like keep wanting to go to like one of the Viking Raiders, and I can't even think of what their <laughs> names are right now. I can't. I don't even know my own name at this point. <laughs> the Viking Raiders. Oh yes. World champion. <laughs> See, that's where I'm at. Do you do you want to do you want to keep guessing? Do you want to what do you want to do, Kayla? Do you want to forfeit your four I points? I think I'm gonna have to forfeit. I... Oh no, Kayla, no. don't leave! <laughs> Kayla, don't leave! <laughs> Kayla, I have no. to tell you who it is. Oh no, it's cutting out. Tell me. <laughs> quick, tell us quick. Oh no, no, Sammy! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Sammy had red hair. <laughs> what? Oh, it's what like, identifier. He's one of the. He's one of the two. <laughs> it's a conspiracy, is what it is, Kayla. <laughs> Why do I see him as having brown hair? Oh, he doesn't, Kayla. I he's know. so famously <laughs> ginger. <laughs> Dude, my internet. No, I can't. I'm so ashamed. I'm sorry, Sammy. I respect you being a ginger. I almost said Brock Lesnar. <laughs> He's blonde. 
The only thing about him is his face. <laughs> That's what got me confused. Is oh. I was just thinking of red. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so ashamed. Oh, Taylor. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Oh All right. man. I also forgot that Sammy's not from America. <laughs> <laughs> no, no big old Canadian boy. Yeah. Uh, oh, my the, face hurts. I hope everybody's <laughs> having a good laugh at me right now. <laughs> All laughing with you, Kayla. That is I'm what Quizamania is fine. <laughs> Dave, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't feel like a big victory. <laughs> yeah. At least if my internet craps out again, I'll know I lost. <laughs> exactly. You've got closure now. All right. All right. Um okay, we got oh. two more to go through. Tempest, this is back on you. This is yep. this is for all the marbles. You know this. Yep. Uh, remind remind everyone at home of the information you already know. It is an active woman. There it is. That's, that's all I've got. It really just sapped all the tension right out of this. <laughs> no, no. It'll come back. Don't you worry yeah, about okay. a thing. Okay. Okay. I um, need to remind you. I know. Need that. Need that. Can't Lost be a tangible champion. Lost intangibles hold all the gold. Don't ruin our booking, Tempest. Don't forget Sami Zayn has red hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, what wisdom? Are they active in WWE? Yeah. Okay. Have they ever been a uh, women's champion? Which women's so, champion? Uh, Raw women's, SmackDown women's, old. WWE women's like before Divas Championship era women's. So those 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 specific, specific titles. Question. Yeah, yeah. A uh, women's champion. No. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna say yes. No, and then yes. How does that work? All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So that means it's not going to be someone in NXT. So that helps narrow it down. Is this person on Raw? No. Oh, that narrows it down. Okay. Okay. There's only like six women on SmackDown. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're making faces. What's up? I have to put. Look. I w ask me the question again. You know the one I mean. Have they won a WWE Women's Championship? No. No. Okay. So what the hell does that mean? Okay, so... I know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what it means, too, and I'm... And oh, Tempest! Like if this leads to your your downfall, Tempest is gonna be so well, mad. Tempest, you're doing so great. <laughs> I think, no, I think I'm okay. I could I could be wrong. Start throwing them out there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, is it Tamina? Nobody, Mina. No. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Actually, is it Ember Moon? No. That's what I was guessing. I don't understand your dilemma then. Um, okay. Who else is on SmackDown? Who else is on SmackDown? They're not on... Well, I'm guessing that they're... 
Actually, now you saying that they've never won the women's championship means it could be someone in NXT. Now you've thrown a monkey wrench into this. Y'all are stressing me out. I got to hit my inhaler. <laughs> okay. What the hell? What have you done to me, Adam? <laughs> I Look, I'm, 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 I'm trying to help. I've only yeah. ever tried to help in this round. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm okay. trying to so, bring you to the light. Let me go through some women on SmackDown. These are not guesses. So okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna guess Bailey because that's a pretty obvious has won every championship. Not gonna say that. Likewise with Sasha Banks, also on SmackDown. Likewise with Bianca Belair. Okay. Carmella is also on SmackDown. She's held a championship. Liv Morgan is on SmackDown. She's never held any championships in WWE, as far as I know. So I don't think that would be a point of contention here. I don't know whether I don't know whether Natalia is currently considered to be a Raw or SmackDown competitor, <coughs> but Natalia won the SmackDown Women's Championship. So I don't think it's her. And the Divas Championship. That's correct, but I didn't list that one as you one of the, the few. And that's that's important, uh, an important distinction to make. Who else could it possibly be? Oh, my goodness. They're active. They're part of WWE. Mm -hmm. They've kind of maybe been a champion, but also kind of not. <laughs> this is that that has just thrown a complete monkey wrench into this. You can always name some people off. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I could. I'm I, I, I enjoying how much you're enjoying this, but Tempest is going to punch. He's going to fly over here and punch me in the side of the head if I've screwed him over here, which uh, I haven't, Tempest. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I, you know I, I believe you. There's I no clear you. identifiers yet, so you should probably ask some questions. Maybe some hair color, age. Well, I would have I would have bought the Blu-ray if I wanted the audio commentary. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, hot dog. Press that shade runner in, James. <laughs> Sonya never won any championships. She's kind of half active. Mia Yim is technically on SmackDown, but she never won a championship. Who else? Are they on SmackDown? All right. Well, okay. So they're in NXT then. Oh god, an NXT person who's never won a championship. That could be anybody. Um I, All right. I, well, look. So what have you done with this championship question? Well, you asked, have they been a WWE Women's Champion? Yeah, that's what you yeah. asked originally, yeah. and I said yeah. yes. And then you listed off specific championships. And then no, I no, said, no, no. I listed the specific championships before you changed your answer. What fucking championship did they win, Adam? <laughs> Why don't you ask me that question? Give me a yes or no. I question. think I did. <laughs> You're the Why don't you narrow it down? Why don't you do the round? Narrow it down, Tempest, and I can help you out here. Uh, God. Da, 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 so I'm guessing now that this means that they've won an NXT championship. An I NXT championship. Yes. I'm not. That's not. Uh, okay, that was. I that wasn't a guess, but I was just thinking out loud. But all right, yeah, okay. So oh, NXT look, tell you what, because of the because of the confusion, Tempest. Mm -hmm. I won't take a point away from you there. Okay, Ooh. thank you. I, I appreciate that's, that. That is generous, and I feel like I, I've right I appreciate the scale. that. Yeah. Yes. I, I feel like we're square. Okay. We're so We're square. We're square. Okay. So NXT champions that are active, that are still in NXT. So it could be Io Shirai. Uh, who, who does she win it from? Not Charlotte. It's not Rhea. It's not... Uh, uh, no, Shayna's on Raw. It's not going to be Shayna. Is it Io Shirai? It's not Io Shirai. What? 
whether you want to take another point off for this is up to you. But when I say NXT Women's Championship, I mean the singles championship, not that and the tag championships. Yeah? Like that was the information that I was given based on the question that I asked? The question you asked had an indefinite article in it. You said a NXT Women's Champion. Not the. Christ. A versus the. Oh my god. This is so controversial. <laughs> oh, the Tempest screw job's going on right now. It's not a screw job, Tempest. You see Tempest where this screw is Tempest. Tempest. Adam screw just Tempest. has a, an attention to detail. <sighs> Quite god. right. Thank you. Kayla. So, I mean, but when when I said, have they been an NXT Women's Champion? Mm -hmm. I mean the NXT Women's Championship, not the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. But, okay, whatever. Whatever. Oh my god. There's so many. I'm, I'm fucked. It's over for me. Yeah, but uh, you have 11 questions left. You're yeah, doing so. okay. Yeah, but I trust James to do well. You oh, like to see him respect <laughs> You like to see people respecting their competitors. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's list some people off then. It's not EO. Uh, we got one, two, three of them. Could be you, I guess. Is it uh, Raquel Gonzalez? No. <sighs> it makes sense, Tempest. I promise it does. I... From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Um, I got just so many names. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Is it Candice LeRae? It is. It's not Candice. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's not Indy Hartwell. So I'm, of course, that it'll end up being Indy Hartwell. What the fuck? Oh my god! I hate this round. This is the worst round in the game. Is it? You didn't Scott forget Hart? Sammy had red <laughs> hair. It's true. That is that is a, arguably a bigger clanger. Yeah. I took the L today, guys. I took the L for everybody. But you didn't sing I Did a Poopy like for several no. minutes on the internet. <laughs> that was a highlight, though. That was pretty Maybe great. if you sing it, you'll find the answer in your heart. That's true, so. Tempest. It might yeah. help. Is it Dakota Kai? No. Oh. I have no idea what I'm even guessing at this point. It could be, it could be Chad Gable for all I know. It's not Chad Gable. No, I won't take a, a point guess. off that for you, that's though. Not a, that's not a guess. Is it? Is it Shotzi Blackheart? No. What the fuck? Oh, oh I was thinking. <laughs> I've never, that's all the champions in NXT. Who's left? It's not what? Shotzi. It's not Shotzi. It's not. It's not any champion in NXT. God damn it. This is a historic what? collapse now. Good luck. People will be talking about this for years. If, it, if it's an NXT UK Women's Champion, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. Is it Tony Storm? <laughs> Off, Adam. God damn it. <laughs> I had to ask that question three times to get to the correct part. Come on. <laughs> I am playing this game under protest. She is. I she did is an NXT, NXT Women's Champion. champion. Oh, wow. That's a different title. This is a screw job. Tempest. I she, didn't ask if she was an NXT Women's Champion. She she has been a Women's Champion in WWE. And she also has yes. been an NXT oh, Women's God. Champion. I don't... like. What she hasn't, though. She, she has, she if has. I ask someone, if, if, have they been a WWE champion and they held the 24-7 title, that's an incorrect answer! <laughs> so, James, um, oh, yeah. 
Tempest is on 49 points. You are on 43. Uh, okay. You will need to get seven or points or more because uh, champions do retain in a tie. Uh, champions okay. advantage. And I've given Tempest all the advantages in the world. Um, so you need to get seven points or more in order to win Tempest's Quizomania Championship. Okay. You, can I have a number between... One and three, please. One and three. Okay. Um, three. Three it is. Let me just get your information up. Um, magic. Okay. I am ready when you are. Do they identify as a female? They do not. Shit. Okay. Well, Tempest, you might actually get your belt back. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, are they a current Raw superstar? No. Are they a current SmackDown superstar? No. Son of a bitch. Um, are they signed by WWE? Mm hmm. Good question. It's a yes or no answer. It is. <laughs> um. No, no. Oh. Okay. Well, all right. This is gonna. You're gonna see these questions fly by. Um, <laughs> are they signed to AEW? No. Oh, thank God. Really wouldn't know anything then. Um. Are they blonde? Yes. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Are they a Brit? No. Oh, damn it. Okay, there is that question. Um, are they a world champion or f are they a former world champion? Yes. Okay, blonde, former world champion, not signed. Um, hmm. Can I switch to one? <laughs> no. Damn it. Okay. Oh boy. Um. I don't know. Uh, have they been sidelined with an injury before? Yeah. <gasps> okay. Okay. Um, um, um. Okay. Not signed to WWE and. Okay, so we already answered the WWE thing's kind of foggy, right? Uh, no, it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. Yeah. Okay. Um. Shit. Okay. Blonde sideline with injury. Male. I don't know. I'm gonna start stabbing in the dark. Um. Daniel Bryan. No. Shit. Okay. Blonde. What? What's? What's the magic number? Just seven. Okay. So we are. We are in territory. Hmm. Seven to retain or seven to win. Seven to win. At six, you retain Tempest. So they're not a Brit. We'd establish that. Blonde, former world champion, not with WWE. Ric Flair. No. Well, shit, Adam. I'm getting so close to the number now. Um, you are. Hmm. You are three incorrect guesses away from losing the championship. Okay. I need to get myself away from like the good looking boys and start going through some of the not so attractive boys um, that I don't really pay that much attention to. Brock? Brock Lesnar? It's not Brock. Oh, I, I thought it was why, Brock. But I see why you did. Oh, I was I was heartbroken right there for a half second. It's a <laughs> Ralph Wiggum moment. <laughs> so wait, so it's it got to be him. right in the next two now? Yep, the next two. Uh, I, either one of the next two guesses has to be the right answer for you to win the Quizlemania Championship. Okay, so just so I can run down the information that I've gathered, which is not much as far as wrestling goes. They are former world champion. They're not with WWE. They are male. 
they are blonde. And I forgot what anything else I've asked. <laughs> and they're not with Raw or SmackDown, so that's already questions I should have asked before. I should have thought these questions out better. Um, it's, always, it's always easy until you're in the hot seat. Hmm. There can't be that many blonde former world champions. I don't know the answer, by the way. I'm just... Oh, do you now? No, I don't. I'm just saying... Tell it to me with your eyes. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help coach you to an answer I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, and they're not British. Hmm. Okay. Um I don't know. I'm drawing a blank and I hate everyone. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> And I have one question left before I lose. So you have, if you, if you want, you don't have to obviously guess right now. You can ask another question to narrow it down. But the next question after that has to be a correct guess. That's what it has to be. You have one question to play with, essentially. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Look at Tempest's face. Sounds I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw it and have some fun. Is it Sid? <gasps> Is it? Oh! <laughs> I was gonna say staying next. <laughs> oh my god. James, do you want to join the Church of Friendos? Because I think he'd fit in with us really well. <laughs> How did I get the troll question? That is a miracle. It was Sid. <laughs> what? It was Sid. It was Sid so happy. <laughs> and New Quizzlemania champion is wow. James Mansfield. <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> wow. The boyhood dream has come true. <laughs> That's a loaded statement, but yes. Thank you. Wow. Congratulations, James. Okay. You're gonna it was actually said you picked Adam. It was genu for, for genuine and for sure. It was Sid. <laughs> it was that. We have we ha we haven't had Sid on the show. Like he hasn't been an answer on the show for like ten shows because he's been a meme. On to a Sid without Steve on here. <laughs> I put I put Sid on here. Um. <laughs> so the final. <laughs> I was gonna say either like Sting or Will Osprey, but then it would have made no sense because British. <laughs> Um, so those those final scores then those final final scores are as follows in last place with 24 it's Kayla the Sami Zayn it's a conspiracy of Quizzlemania he has brown hair <laughs> oh, there's a real conspiracy on Quizzlemania here in third place with 28 points it's Dave Dave Climb you the ladder. Third. Come, come. Third. next time you wait in second place with 49, it's Tempest. In first place with 51, it's James Mansfield. Huge congratulations. <laughs> Huge congratulations. It was Sid. Well, that's lovely. Is Tempest going to be back the next time? I, I mean, look, I, I, I feel like I might have to bring Tempest <laughs> back I for really a reason. Like, <laughs> I really like the TV made so I can rub it in his face. <laughs> Just send me yeah, the, like, the Alibaba link where you got that, and I'll get my own. You start the show by coming out, and then you end by getting fucked by a guy. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 Ooh. Anyways, here's Frank. Oh, there's a hi, dog. Frank. Everybody say yeah, hi, hi Frank. to Frank. <laughs> hi, Frank. And let me just hey, get Frank. rid of that banner. Frank, hey. come back. Up, up, up. Here we go. Say it's okay, mommy. You didn't know Sami Zayn had red hair. You didn't know any better. <laughs> no, what? Is that maybe he doesn't. Maybe I'm. Maybe everyone else is wrong. Maybe. Maybe I'm the one that got screwed. <laughs> oh, but Frank. we all win because Frank's here. 
Frank's the best. <laughs> All right, folks, that is the that is the the main body of the game. We're going to head into our ultra chats. Before we do, I'd just like to have a little quick check of how much we've raised tonight. Of course, it's still not over. You still have time to get in your ultra chats. We do have some ultra chats to read, but I can confirm that we have got. Oh, we've raised one thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven pounds for Stonewall. That's lovely. Please do get your your. Uh, ultra chats in it would be lovely if we can get to 2k before the end of the stream so it's not too late get your ultra chats in let's get us to two thousand pounds for stonewall that'd be lovely let's head into some ultra chat steve guzman says hey y'all how would you ruin a good gimmick match i do a two out of three falls ladder match first fall pull down the belt second you have to rehoist the belt and third you have to pull it back down just watch any tna they've they found a way to ruin pretty much every stipulation a reverse battle royal everyone awful does anyone else have an idea of how to ruin a classic stip Maybe put Add some dogs. Add a lumberjill snow bunny to it. A lumberjill snow bunny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Put Last else? man sitting. Last man sitting. <laughs> He's got a perch on his chair. Musical chairs, basically. Yeah. yeah, they did that. The musical chairs on Raw. Yeah. Oh, was that, was, that was great. Rick Flair was in there. Um, yeah. Craig Dunn says, my father came out to us a few years ago. It's great to see him feeling like himself and happy. I love his boyfriend more than my own mother. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, um, that's, that's lovely, Craig. Uh, Nate S says, awesome that you're doing the stream and giving such a good cause. Everyone should be able to be comfortable and proud in who they are. Love is love. Jam that jam. Uh, Cara Bunce has given us £10. Thank you so much. The Creepy Otaku says, also just ordered the new WrestleTalk Pride shirt. Absolutely. And you can check out the WrestleTalk Pride. It's in the description um, below. Um, all proceeds in June go to, go to Pride, of course. Go to Stonewall, in fact. We're all everything in June for Stonewall for Wrestle Talk, um, and also oh, I forgot to mention, join us tomorrow if you if you are a member of the PFK patron. We're doing Fan Quizlemania tomorrow at eight PM UK time. So join us then as well if you are a patron. If not, join our patron, patreon.com forward slash part fun. No, um, the creepy Osaku has just said. Uh, yeah, also just ordered the new Wrestle Talk Pride shirt and the LIW shirt, which is selling well. Me and friend are going to rock these in the Thunderdome on Friday. Jam that jam, hey. lock and tangibles. <laughs> hashtag Pride Month. Carl S says, "Thank you all for being you." Big love from Pennsylvania. Aww. James is the best. James is number one. Drag the competition. <laughs> Me, I won. <laughs> Who? Me? <laughs> it doesn't come with a lifetime supply of an Anastasia Beverly Hills cosmetics, I'm afraid, but it is still a. Well, neither does the Drag Race, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Smith is. It's just a decent attendance. supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills. <laughs> it's it's some supply, not a maybe a lifetime supply. Um, Fireman Jason Gutierrez says, I'm going to be heading towards wildfires on the West Coast on the US uh, of the US for my first time doing wildland firefighting. If you could wish me luck, make this my name on Patreon, please. Fireman Jason Gutierrez. Happy Pride. Uh, best of luck. Uh, stay safe. Obviously, that sounds incredibly intense. Um, be well, Jason. Kylie Davis says, thank you for doing this. As a non-binary bi, non bi peep, seeing stuff like this brings me so much joy. Oh, well, your message brings us all so much joy. Thank you, Kylie. And Justin Campbell says, happy Pride, everyone. I collect Marvel Legends figures, and every time I see a figure from the X-Men spin-off team, X-Factor, I hear, yo, you're dealing with the X-Factor <laughs> in my head. Fantastic, um, Je <laughs> Tempest. Are you okay, bud? Okay. Yeah, I'm. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to look through Wikipedia right now. I'm seeing comments saying to check Sid and Tony Storm's Wikipedia. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to find what the joke is. <laughs> Fair, go joke fishing for us. Uh, James yeah. in Dorset says, I'm so happy for you, Tempest. Uh, I use pride to come out to my family as bisexual, which made me feel so good. Excellent cause to donate for. Love you all. Uh, Knoxville says, an excellent lineup and an excellent cause. Happy Pride Month to all. Uh, also here in the States, it's Immigrant Heritage Month and PTSD <laughs> Awareness Month. So let's just all be excellent to each other in Indeed. What was the joke, Tempest, in the end? So on Tony Storm's Wikipedia page, under the championship section on WWE, it says May Young Classic, NXT UK Women's Championship, the reason Tempest lost the Quizlemania Championship. <laughs> the highest accolade of all, one could say. Of course. Now let's let's check Sid Vicuous. <laughs> um, Sid Viscous. 
<laughs> Sid Viscus. Um, Finn Machine says, hello, everyone. Can Adam tell me how did you all stay civil at the end of the last blood on the clock tower? My bad <laughs> yeah. loser would have come out fast and loud against Isaac for fucking up the good team. Love you all. Look, uh, we can go, we can go, we can dunk on Isaac all we want. The truth is that we we knew the risks when we executed him. Um, we didn't argue strongly that it might not be Luke. We didn't argue strongly that Ollie might be the good twin because he did seem sus. And that's partly Carly's fault for putting loads of fake savant information into the room. Yeah. Um, but simple, the simple fact is Isaac, Isaac had a good time and we had a good time. Uh, Adam Blamplate says, uh, sorry for bringing down the feel of the stream. You all do great work. Jam that jam. You have nothing to apologize for. So absolutely nothing whatsoever. Um, sharing sharing is caring it really really is um maybe williams says happy pride this is the first pride i've been able to openly celebrate and so glad to see my favorite wrestling channel supporting as well uh, anonymous has messaged uh <laughs> in brackets i hope this is okay happy pride everyone love you guys don't mind me just thinking of a tactful and amicable way to find out if adam is bi or not to settle a disagreement at work anyway enjoy the quiz uh, I am not. I am, uh, unfortunately, uh, a straight white man. Sorry about that. Uh, no, I, I am not. Uh, but I, I, no, I am not. Uh, tempo 30. I don't know what, I don't know where I was going with that. I mean, <laughs> so, is there a way yeah, I can I, make it? You lost the, the seam of it. It's fine. I was just thinking, like, He's do I have a... <laughs> lost her. I was just thinking, is there a way I can make myself any more interesting? But no, I just can't. I'm as boring and as cookie cutter as they come. I'm not flustered. I'm doing You fine. like board games. It's okay. Yes. That's Do you mine. like board games? Where's my month? Where's our we month for people who like board you games? Are <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. I appreciate it. Board game loving cis white male. Well, I mean, I just, I, I honestly feel like cis white guys, we just don't get the recognition. No, no, no. Oh, go on. No, 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 none of that, none of that. Tempo, <laughs> Tempo 1337 says, I came out as non-binary this year, so this is my first out pride as well. Happy Queerzel Mania, everyone. Congratulations. Well done for taking that step. Uh, Happy Anderson says, um, my path to finding my own identity has been long, complicated, and confusing, but I'm so happy that so many of my favorite people support my right to travel without scorn. Mr. Perkins says, I just wanted to say I absolutely love you all. Quizlemania has gotten me through some rough weeks over the year. Also, a special thank you to Adam for all you do. Jam that jam for my husband and I. Thank you, Mr. Perkins. Timothy, Jimothy, James. Another Quizlemania, another great cause. Been watching since week one. Can't believe how silly, how a silly lockdown idea has become an important staple in my life. Love you guys. Jam that jam. And NRB memes. Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel. Oh, love the work you do on NRB memes, sir. Um, says, uh, where are you? Tempest planning to physically come out of his closet is awesome. He is now the biggest face to me. Today actually marks four years that I've been out. Glad I got to catch this special Quizlemania. Oh, thank you, Gabriel. Uh, Joan Lopez says, I've been trying for years to get my girlfriend into wrestling. She's just not into it. But she overheard Tempest opening up about being by and has been sitting by my side watching this. Hashtag, oh. we did it, boys. <laughs> I'm sorry that it started It started with a very sweet, tender, genuine moment and devolved into whatever the, the end of the show was. Tempest, we... <laughs> We we crowned a new champion. We celebrated. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's it's been a joyous celebration. We, I, I t tell you what, I, I realize I didn't actually give you the, the platform to do it. But would you like to give a kind of concession speech and congratulate James on James's win? Yeah, James didn't do anything wrong. Shout out to James. <laughs> you know what, Tempest? I'll let you know something. As a part, this is a part of the coming out experience. You learned that not everything's about you. <laughs> Just because you came out doesn't mean you're going to get anything for it. <laughs> very true. My, my point was more that I would be very interested to see a new fan's reaction and thoughts about me throughout the show. <laughs> where it starts to where it ends. You Love had you. nothing but high points this whole stream. Coming out, I did poopy. Come on. Yeah, sure did. Yeah. Anyway, you sure did. That that's how you sum up the. You the still won. Line. You I still won. You are the people's champion. Love you, love you, Tempest. Um, gosh, I, I'm gonna. I get, to, I get to go to work tomorrow and talk about wrestling. My life's not hard. Don't worry about me. Uh, 
Tarek Ali says, with the world opening up, what wrestling show would you want to attend this year the most? If I had time and money, I would travel to All In to see Adam Hangman Page win the AEW title. It's it's between All Out and I, I guess if you're talking without within the calendar year, like a rumble is still my biggest kind of that's my biggest bucket list. It's like you asked like bucket lists, like just in general, attending a Royal Rumble live, never done it, want to. It's yes, worth it. It's yeah. worth so it. So fun. It's Which, so fun. What did you attend? Um, I did the one in Phoenix several years ago. Is that Seth's, Seth's yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's not Seth. Becky's one. Becky, yeah, yeah, Becky's. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, I was there in twenty eighteen for Nakamura. And then Asuka slashed the Ronda Rousey debut. Man. When Ronda Rousey won the Royal, the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah. I remember it clearly. <laughs> yeah. Um, Adam I mean, Lamplight. Actually, just for the actual, the ultra chatted question of uh, shows that we might want to go to. Oh, yeah, of course. Str strongly considering going to SummerSlam, honestly. The borders it's between amazing. Canada and America. I know. Strongly considering going because the borders between uh, Canada and America are opening on July 5th, I believe. And I'm fully vaxxed and ready ready to go. And that would be a very good time. With that, Church of Friendos are going to be there. All four of us. I've heard a lot of people are going. And I want to like actually meet the friends that I've made over the last year on these shows. It'd be really fun. Oh, we'll do it, man. Do it. Um, Adam Blamplate says, Adam, you keep saying... You kept saying LIW hold all the gold. They don't. The friendos are your tag champs. LIW 444, the trash. Um, Edward Colligan has just sent us $10. The band man says, as a not technically out of the closet by guy, this is awesome. Anyone who really knows me knows, but being a married man, my wife knows and gets me. And a teacher, I try to keep it quiet ish oh well thank you Bandman, for sharing that with us at least uh chaos has simply said hashtag adam is a liar hashtag justice for tempest <laughs> thanks man <laughs> appreciate it <laughs> um drin says great wrestling community last year i donated with a statement of it being homophobic if james lost the day after pride now she is a quizzle mania winner none of the other rue girls can say that quite right too no one else in the history of so has ever won the quizzle mania championship you got me and bob the drag queen those are the only wrestling fans i know of <laughs> oh let's get bob the drag queen on that'd be awesome um Rude comment, but maybe funny, says the mods. Yo, Tempest, you need to fucking chill, dude. It's a game and you're really <laughs> passive aggressive. <laughs> he was in it to win. Yeah. yeah. Never ever. Well, we're having a good time now. Never ever quell passion. <laughs> never ever tell someone to chill when they when they have something that they want and they, they fight for what they want. Absolutely. By the way, that, that was the most passive aggressive sentence ever. We're having a good time now. <laughs> i was i was gonna try and work an angle at the end of this show the whole deal i've had a i have a fucking crown that's useless now <laughs> you are bought... still that bitch though you are still that bitch thank the you DNA you, test. you bitch. can't change your you dna, DNA test. Test and it turns out you know i i bought that crown the last time i was quizzlemania champion and then i'd lost i lost the title before the crown arrived and then it just kind of sat there for six months and i was like oh i'm gonna use it joke's on me <laughs> oh, i just love that though you are still that bitch i want yeah, kayla yeah. to give me quietly reassuring <laughs> advice it's very soothing yeah. um spluke warm spluke owen says seeing as how james won tonight what are the odds of you having an all drag episode of quizzle mania well the odds are certainly higher than they were before <laughs> this show started uh 69 intangible sadie deegan says adam that was shady as fuck hashtag tempest deserved better hashtag bring back lucas host hashtag liw4l i mean congratulations james but tempest you will forever have my heart you beautiful big brain boy you are you are very kind to me in all the ultra chats that we do i just want to say that i appreciate you as a fan very much thank you sadie's great 
Uh, Matt B has just donated twenty dollars. Merry Death Macaos says, and new Con- congratulations, James. Tempest screwed Tempest. This has been an awesome Quizomania. <laughs> Kayla, thank you for backing me on the cheese and jam combo. The others should just give it a chance. Uh, Anony Mouse says, when Sid was revealed, I said, "What?" So loud, the entire office stopped and stared at me. I really need to stop watching these during work, but I watch these live every time. Anyway, congrats, James. Um, Bazongazar says, hi, everyone. I want to say sorry to Tempest for the monkey thing. You look great. Also, content. <laughs> also w- WWE Women's Championship is a specific championship. The UK does not count. Justice for Tempest. Also <laughs> love to you. Um, Owen Keating says, happy pride to all the she's, they's, and gays of the WrestleTalk community. Congrats to new champion, James. It may not be a big crown and scepter or a hundred thousand dollars or doulas but you hold that championship with pride it's and fine that 100k gets boiled down after taxes anyway exactly <laughs> uh tom roberts says adam please say uh, tempest screwed tempest in your best vincent kennedy mcmahon voice jam the problem was he didn't say brett screwed brett in the vince mcmahon voice yeah. he just said well the, the thing is yeah he just said like brett screwed Brett. So Tempest did screw Tempest. Oh, apparently, I've just had a message from our mods. We are just under thirty dollars away from two thousand dollars. Does okay, anyone? Then. Oh no, we are now under twenty, I believe. Uh, so yeah, if we if we can just have one last person getting us over the finish line to get us to two thousand dollars, then we can end this stream on a massive high. Uh, not that we are not ending the stream. On a giant high, of course. Um, right, if someone just... does it in the next like two minutes, will will Tempest do another idea to poopy? <laughs> just one more. Just one yeah, more. sure, yeah. sure. Go for it. Let me see if I can get it right away. <laughs> that is a benevolent champion right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep refreshing until we cross two thousand pounds because we're literally we are eighteen pounds away from uh crossing that finish now that you've said that it's just gonna go so well there is a there is a slight minute delay so i do want to see if you're absolutely right so i'm just gonna keep on refreshing who wants to be the hero that gets us to 2k oh i was gonna do it but i have to get up to get my debit card and it's all the way there that could take all day give me a second If you're the person who does it, then you get to choose which song yeah. he does it to. That's absolutely true. That? If you yeah. do, oh, oh my God, we're eight quid. We're eight quid away. Absolutely. If you do, um, ultra chatters over. Do send us in a request, and Tempest will do it. I, I need a poopy for you. I would like to say thank you to the chat for not sending any super chats <laughs> shaming me on my Sami Zayn moment. Thank you. <laughs> We're not making me more stressed out. <laughs> There's been nothing but love in the comments, Kayla. Don't you <laughs> worry. Uh, I will uh, do just want to give a shout out to our wonderful guests for the evening. Um, oh, <laughs> Drin has messaged in all caps, take my money. And oh, I could have sw- that should get us over. That should get us over there. Hmm. 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 It's still saying as eight quid away. Oh, and there we go. Yes. 2,024 pounds. I haven't finished donating yet. Wow. I guess Did I don't we... have to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, our benevolent what a heel channel, everybody. Um, Jason Pereira says, for the Torontoan, love you, Tempest. Love you. Uh, that would be Torontonian. Torontonian, okay. indeed. Okay. Uh, also, I just want to get uh, what song are we are we going for here? Um, going, we... uh, taking requests. Uh, we've not had. Um... <laughs> can I? Can I? We've not had one. So can I have the Mountie? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for the Mountie to come up and name that jam. I was hoping it would be today. <laughs> yeah. All right. For sure. <laughs> give Give me one sec. Like, this is part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
do 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 the bounty. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I did a poopy. 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 Oh, 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 this song gets fast. As a Canadian, fast after a while, yeah. filled filled with joy. Um, Jacques Rougeau, number one fan, said for Tempest. Daddy ass said, "Thank you for uh, your for what you're doing for doing a good thing oh, yeah. for the LGBTQ plus community." Hashtag Tempest was robbed, and that. Ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to finish for today on a lovely two thousand one hundred and thirty-one pounds. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Kayla. Make sure you follow her on Twitter at Kayla Vision, Dave at Dave Bradshaw, James at James Mansfield, and Tempest at Tempest WT. We will see you in two weeks' time for Quizzlemania 38 with your new champion hopefully joining us for that um, and oh I'm will... what else I gotta do <laughs> oh, quite right um, I will oh hang on I have a doc um, oh, ja oh I've just noticed that James Mansfield has sent us in a donation with the message simply reading I won and that is exactly <laughs> <laughs> where we'll end it thank you so much james all right guys thank you so much for being part of this we truly like wonderful show and we'll see you all next time bye